Uh, so you all, you are all seated at um, at your places that you've been allocated to around the uh, table. Probably all sat next to each other. Um, Gaspacho soup is supposed to be served cold. <laughs> I thought we were all climbing out of the window. <laughs> um, so Augustus, Augustus is all, all uh, he's, he's sat, um, he's, well, Augustus is probably sat at the head of the table and um, Veronica at uh, the opposite end. The opposite end. So they, they come back into the room? Yes. Well, they're, they're sat there, so yeah, they're sat, they're sat at the table with you. No, he, he was he was in the hall. Oh yes, 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 he was, wasn't he? But yeah, he's, he's and, sat. And, Ver- and Veronica had gone to the library. To stay. Yes. So yes, they come back into uh, they come back into the dining room, followed by Mr. Goodman. How many Mr. Goodmans are there? Okay. So there are twenty-two place, uh, places set at the table. Um, oh. You are currently taking up five of them. There is one empty spot. Um, five of them. Well, including... Oh, uh, with August yes. and Veronica. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, there's an empty spot at the side at the uh, side of Adam, which would be would have been the um, place for... That dead guy. The dead guy, yeah. Can nobody remember his name? Frank. Frank. And... Frank Snake Eyes McGee. Is there a sad little place name? <laughs> And in comes Mr. Lester Goodman. And this is Lester Goodman. He don't look Not what I was imagining. No. Is there just one of him? Um so he comes he comes in um led in sort of shown in by uh, I forgot the butler's name. What's the butler's name again now? Hmm. Jeremiah. Jeremiah, thank you very much. Yes, fled in by Jeremiah. Yes, um, may I present uh, Mr. Lester Goodman? And Augustus right. stands up and says, Ah, Lester, it's good to see you again. Good to see you. Uh, please take a seat. And he comes and sits down. He nods, he smiles at, um, at Veronica. Uh, and there's a greets this kind of like nods his head at each of you and says, "Good evening, good evening. My name is uh, Lester Goodman. Ah, oh, these, these are these are um, these are guests, uh, a pretty impromptu guest, Mister uh, Mister Goodman. This this is um, oh, I do apologise. Uh, this is this is Mister Frank McGee, uh, Chris Verner, and uh, Adam Ansel. Is that that's correct? I believe yes, yes, yes. Um. Then the butler. Well, I probably forgot the name of again. Uh, Mr. Lest, Mr. Lester Goodman. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. That's the one. Ah, Lester Goodman. Welcome, Mr. Mr. Goodman. It's good to good to have you. And uh, ah, uh, Mr. Mr. Lester Goodman says, Ah, uh, good evening, Mr. Goodman. Oh, said, good evening, Mr. Goodman. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. Uh, and. Then the butler announces, and it's Lester Goodman, Mr. Lester Goodman. Ah, Lester Goodman. Hold on. So, does the second one, is he an identical? They are identical, yes. They look exactly the same. They're dead. They're dressed, They're dressed exactly. Every, every single aspect of them is identical. The voice, the intonation of the voice, the clothes they're wearing, their hair, even down to the last like uh, you know last hair on their head um I'm going to get the uh, uh, Jeremiah with Jeremiah so he should be out there actually so. have you got a picture of the other Lester Goodman <laughs> <laughs> yes here he is here's a picture of the other Lester Goodman can we now have them side by side I'm, I'm presuming a sanity roll's incoming it, uh, it, well, you, you could well be my and just identical twins, mate. No, triplets. Triplets so far. One, third one. Oh, triplets. Yeah. Um, and Jeremiah says, introduces them. And um, may I introduce Mr. Lester Goodman? So, ah, Mr. Goodman, it's good that you can make it. 
I said, oh, this is Lester Goodman, and this is Lester Goodman, and this is Lester Goodman. And he said, these are my um, these are guests, Adam Ansel, Chris Verner, and Frank uh, McGee. Ah, oh, pleased to meet you. My name is Lester Goodman. I bet it is. Fucking weirdos. And can I introduce you, Lester Goodman? So, ah, good evening, Mr. Goodman. It's good. It's, I'm so glad you could make it. And this is Mr. Goodman, Mr. Goodman, and Lester Goodman, and Mr. Lester Goodman. Is yeah. he actually introducing all of the Lester Goodmans to each other? Yes, he is. <laughs> and, and they, and they, and they in turn. So, uh, how do you guys know each other? Oh, I've never met. Well, I've never met Mr. Goodman before. No, it's, uh, it's, uh, Does it not look familiar to you? I'm not sure what you mean. So, oh, uh, I presume that some of them are side by side. Do they uh, not look familiar? They, they, they don't. It doesn't seem to uh, register with them at all. How was? How's the? Uh, Mr. Wayland and his daughter. They are, yeah, they're not reacting. It's not, there's, yeah, they're not reacting to that either. And, and Jane, I said, can I, uh, may I introduce uh, uh, Mr. Lester Goodman? Lester Goodman. <laughs> and he comes in, makes, takes a seat at the table. Uh, oh, probably a seat up. There we go. Uh, it's, um, uh, good evening, Mr. Goodman. It's, I'm so glad you could meet it. This is Mr. Goodman, Mr. Goodman, uh, Mr. Lester Goodman, uh, Mr. Lester Goodman, uh, Lester Goodman. Yes, ah, good evening. I'm Lester Goodman. Oh, and they all start introducing each other to them, you know, each other to each uh, other. I'll look at the uh, empty table up near the top and go, uh, is Mr. Goodman not joining us this evening? And then Jeremiah says, and finally, sir, may I introduce Mr. Goodman? I says, ah, Mr. Goodman, I'm so glad you could make it. I says, uh, may I introduce Mr. Lester Goodman? And this is Lester Goodman, and this is Lester Goodman, and Lester Goodman, and so on and so forth. At this point, also, the door opens again, and Jeremiah says, uh, may I present um, Mr. Andre Eisenberg? This Maybe. just got really weird. Yes, you. Is he looking well? He looks fine. Oh, am I a word? Am I the... So you have... You have no... So the last the last thing you remember is... Um, is just walk, is walking in through this door. Before prior to prior to that, the only thing you the only thing other thing you remember is arriving at this house, uh, arriving at the house with um, with your companions and everything that happened before that. It, it doesn't look in any type of distress. His clothes are intact. He's not got any scratches on him. No, no, it looks perfectly fine. Can I use the bathroom, please? Um, hello everyone. I, I think we arrived then. Um, we'll. We've been very kindly invited in. Where have you been? I just arrived with you. You just came in ahead of me. Um, I was just waiting to be formally introduced. Bye. Frank, Frank said you were attacked outside. We've just come in. Well, I don't understand. We've just come in. Yeah, I really need the bathroom. Can someone tell me where the bathroom is, please? Can, uh, uh, can somebody t- tell me what's going on? I'm, I'm at uh, a loss uh, with all these Goodman chaps. Oh, uh... Oh, have you? Uh, so, uh, I, I do apologize. I did, uh, you, so, this this is uh, Lester Goodman. Um, yeah, he is. Hands, as if nothing, you know. Ah, oh, hello, Mr. Goodman. Uh, so, this is Lester Goodman. He's, um, well, he's, Lester uh, Goodman. He, he works in New York. He um, specializes in antiquities, particularly rare books. And Mr. Goodman next to it Well, that's a coincidence. So do I. I know the other. Uh, Goodman. Uh, and, and the other one said, oh, so do I, 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 and they all start, they all just like this, like just cacophony as noise, and they all start telling, yes, I work in, oh, that's exactly the same you know, thing that I do. Isn't that a strange coincidence? That's yeah, uh, fantastic. And you look like he's... I knew somebody who sold books once, um, yeah, they're not with us anymore. 
And you can all make a sanity roll, yes. Even, even, uh, yeah. So th this is this is strange to you, Andre, as well. You just walked into the, you just walked into this room. Uh, you know there was going to be a dinner party. You just walked into the room and uh, confronted by these multiple Lester Goodmans. So if you pass, you are okay. If you fail, you lose one d three points of sanity. Ouch. So if you fail, lose one d three sanity. Oh, lovely. Uh, and yeah, so, so Andre, so you, you kind of your knees go buckle and you go a little a little weak at the, the sign of this. Uh, these multiple people, identical people, just just not like you know, not even like identical twins. There's slight, you know, there's maybe some slight difference. These are perfect copies of each other exactly like right like I say right down to the hair every single hair on the head and he says oh, 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 oh yeah, are you are you alright Mr. Isaac let, let me help you to your chair and he, he leads you around the table and deposits you in the chair I've been a little bit poorly um, and I decide not to ask um, because everyone else seems to be okay with it, and I'm just wondering if I'm maybe coming down with something. Because it feels a bit strange that um, almost like some time has passed, but I've lost it. We're only just arrived at the house, and I'm, I'm having trouble getting my head around that. But I'm like, oh, oh, okay then, and uh, yeah, I'll just sit down and try and I mean, stop. How reason. long has, has um, Andre been missing for? Um, 15, 20 minutes. Oh, we, five, ten minutes at the most. But I've wiped all that out since arriving in the house. That's what you're saying. So, okay, so, so you remember, you remember arriving at the house, and uh, I've just I've stepped in through the door as if I've just followed them guys. Uh, so it's no, it's not. You, you, you can't remember leaving. So you. The house. You don't remember leaving the house. You've got this kind of a gap. You remember arriving at the house, mm -hmm. which was some time ago, but the gap between arriving and walking in through this door is, is, is just a blank. So you know it's not immediately after, but you just you just can't remember what happened in between. Yeah, okay. So that, that'll explain the sound of rules well, because I'm just about... Uh, um, Hello. Uh, More recovery wait. health points for warming up. <laughs> That's try. Oh, talking about which I get my hit points back, Andrew. Uh, you have got all your hit points back, which I think, if you check, you will find that you've got all your hits back. <laughs> no, I haven't. I'm sitting at zero, so I think I better put them back. <laughs> Is it? Has anybody tried doing first aid on Frank? Because he's got like a bit of a hypothermia and frostbite. <laughs> I don't believe anybody's tried at the moment, do you? Can I um, um, uh, try and do something? Maybe give put my jacket over him? Oh, that's... Like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Keeper, you need to reset my hit points. I've done there. it for you. Give him some shit. No, it's not back to zero. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Mr. Antel, maybe you should take a photo of this gathering. Yeah, that's. Um, Make yeah, sure you get Mr. I, Goodman um, in the picture. All thirty. Of them. Um, as we discussed about, like, you know, um, making some sort of uh, record. Um, yeah. record um, oh, that, that, that's a, that's an ex excellent idea. Uh, Mr. Goodman said, "Oh yes, yes, yes. That's a, that's a, be a wonderful to commemorate this uh, this auspicious occasion." Although, oh, oh yes, 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 yes. I left my um, tripod back in the car. Um, I'm, I'm sure you can rest it on a table or something. Oh yeah, but but right. to get to allow me to. Um, be in the photo as well the tripod would make things uh, far easier maybe um, um, Andre or Frank could go back to the car and get it for you I'll go I'll go <laughs> um, yeah I suppose okay. um, <laughs> if we're not going to hold proceedings up um, yeah we could do that oh I'm, I'm uh, August as well I'm Jeremiah could, couldn't you help her could you you could take the, uh, the the picture I'm sure well tell you what I'll take one 
Um, take a and few. If, um, Jeremiah wants to take one with me in as well, and yeah, I'll busy myself with my camera. Okay. Um, sort out my um, flash. Make um, sure you take several shots. It's, it's a really good opportunity, so you, you need some really good sh uh, photographs of the event. So, I'm assuming that when I look into the um, viewfinder, um, which is, um, just for reference, a series of mirrors, just as an aside, uh -huh. <laughs> um, everything looks entirely normal. Yeah. You uh, you can sit, look through the viewfinder and see the um, exactly what you see with your with your naked eye. Just checking. I uh, got everything sorted in and out. Um, Mr. Goodman, would you mind just like shuffling in a touch, please? Oh, of course. And they all kind of shuffle in. And I'll I'll direct them so they're all like the ones at the far end are leaning in a bit so I can get. Yeah, all of their beautiful faces. They all, they all oblige, leaning in with big, beaming smiles on their faces. Give me, give me a smile for about five seconds. Hold still, and uh, flash goes off. I'll take a photo. Okay. Yeah. And then I'll go again. And then I'll try and direct Jeremiah and how to do it. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, he, he obliges. He, he maybe have, it take, maybe takes a, a few moments for to you know, to explain the uh, some of the technicalities, but but he's able to he's able to pull it off. Does he need to roll his photography skill? His massive photography skill has got. Uh, you can roll your photography skill. Yes. Why not? Oh, it'll easy do this. Because he's, he's one of the best newspaper photographers I've ever worked with. <laughs> <laughs> so let me, uh, let's see, uh, that's the Ox statue there. What? Why does Jeremiah do a better job? <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> he's just broken the camera. What have you rolled? What have you rolled? Well, oh. clearly the camera took a bit of a nudge, like, while we were traipsing. Um... I said take several shots. <laughs> I did, yeah. Okay, so you, you you take you take some shots. Maybe maybe they're not your, your best. Maybe maybe a little bit slightly on edge, considering I'm the situation. Under quite a lot of pressure right now. Yeah, <laughs> not his best. No, that's his usual. Not so that... I've got some performance-related uh, pressure from um, my mate Chris. <laughs> Do I notice isn't writing anything down at this point? I'm keeping it all in my head. Oh yeah. It, Bit rude to write it down, writing what, it down while we're enjoying the same place you keep all like the brandy and scotch. Yeah, mm. <laughs> it helps me, right? Does um, it? Something I, I didn't say last time on the statue of Wayland, you pointed out the tie, or on the picture, there was a symbol on his tie. Has he got that symbol on the tie that he's wearing this evening? Uh, I don't know. You could be, uh, do you want to go and? Go and uh, oh, get... I, I, I want, if he's in visual, I, I, can I can I see that symbol on his tie? Um, oh, I'm going to be it... kind. I'm going to be kind. So it, you maybe a lean across the table a, a little bit, um, but no, no, there's nothing. There's nothing like that on his tie on his tie at all. So on the statue, did it look like it's? It's, it's not like uh, any type of jewellery on the tie. It's just it's the design on the tie. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's no, it's it's, it's engraved. So it was like like engraved it, into it, where the knot of the tie is. And it, did it match the symbol on the bottom? It did, didn't it? Uh, on the bottom of what? Sorry. On the there was the 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 symbols are on the bottom of the statues, aren't they? So did the symbol on the tie match the symbol on the bottom of the statue? No, no they're, they're all they were different. Yeah, all different. So the different symbol. No, no, I mean his symbol on his tie. Did it match the symbol on the bottom of his statue? There's, uh, there is, is, there's no, there's, so there's no symbol on on August's tie. There's symbols on the on the tie on the bust on the tie of the bust, and it's just there. It's just on the on the knot. Oh the right, tie. so it's not it's not on the base. Right? No, 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 no. It's just just on the knot of the tie. So on the ox, where is the symbol? Uh, on the ox, uh, the kind of ox is sat is like on a plinth, and it's on the front of the plinth. No, it's, it's visible. It's not. Yeah, yeah, it's not hidden. No. Same with the eagle. Yeah, it's, same with the eagle. It's kind of on the on the back of its uh, on the back of its head. 
I believe, are on his chest. It's, but yeah, it's visible, yeah. And each one is is uh, is like different. Uh, so, um, while Lester Goodman and uh, Lester Goodman, Lester Goodman, Lester Goodman, Lester Goodman, Lester Goodman, uh, exchanging exchanging pleasantries and small talk with Augustus and, and Veronica, and, and on occasion uh, attempting to engage yourselves, um, Rosemary and Jeremiah. Um, Enter from the kitchens and begin begin serving the meal. Uh, there's a there's a, a a small starter with aperitifs and uh, maybe maybe some uh, oh, I don't know prawn cocktail. That's always a good starter. Everybody likes prawn cocktail. Um, uh, before moving on to um, like the main meal, some probably some maybe some roast beef and uh, vegetables and. Uh, and so forth and the food is delicious it's excellent um, and the, until uh, till you look up and you notice that um, the Lester Goodmans are shoveling mouthfuls of rotten food and dead rats into their mouths. Uh, where's the bathroom, guys? I'm, I need to go pee. Oh, Augustus, uh, Augustus. Oh, oh, Je Jeremiah, would you, would you direct, um, would you escort, uh, uh, Mr. Isaac, no, it's not Mr. Isaac, but, uh, Mr. McGee, uh, to the bathroom upstairs. Uh, yeah. So they, they, were, they were definitely served the same food as us, but now they're eating dead yes. rat. Rotten food. So the food on their plates, the shoveling into their mouths off their plates, is uh, the food's rotten and there's dead rats. I think there's something strange about this house. <laughs> um, Augustus and, and Veronica, their their food they're, they're eating seems to be fine. And uh, oh. Lester Goodman said, "Oh, a, this is this is a phenomenal meal, there, Augustus. It's uh, your um, cook is to be complimented." And, uh, and Rosemary kind of like standing at the back, sort of looking a little bit meek, smiling and, and blushing. And Jeremiah says, uh, "Mr. McGee, if you if you follow me, I'll I'll show you to the um, to the bathroom upstairs." Yep, let's go. Okay. Um, can I, I saw a Mr. Over McGee a to the bathroom? Uh, if you would attend to his injuries if you wish mm. um no. okay so no, Mr. Didn't you have the Mr. Goodmans <laughs> so Mr. McGee and Mr. Werner you you will head off to you follow Jeremiah upstairs to uh, to the bathroom uh so I need to go to the first floor uh, I sort of uh whisper the other like um I think we've got ourselves into something here and um I don't we need think to get out good. <laughs> he used to make it a plan but like it's really autumn and I left so I'm like uh yeah I think we've got ourselves into something here. Okay do you, not own a token? you do not at the moment. No, oh, so Lester Goodman don't want a Lester Goodman. <laughs> Lester Goodman's everywhere. Uh, so Chris, uh, are they going to combine to form Devastator? <laughs> it's your mighty Lester Goodman. <laughs> uh, so there you go, and we also need Jeremiah. Uh, so. So you can uh, you can see there we stood online. So uh, Jeremiah points. Uh, the, the you find the bathroom at the at the end of the hall, uh, gentlemen. Uh, unless there's unless there's anything else you require, I shall uh, return downstairs to uh, to attend to the guests. Yeah, thank you. Okay, uh, and Jeremiah heads back downstairs. I'm gonna uh, try this door here. Okay, he's open. Oh, what about, what about the bathroom? Fuck the bathroom. Um, I'm looking around this dodgy house. There's something. Just, just stand still while I attend to your injuries. Okay. 
Um, and then I'm going to try and kill him with my first aid bro. <laughs> <laughs> actually probably better doing that in the bathroom mm. oh wow uh, a, a, good, a good attempt good attempt to kill him almost 77 again oh, I'm, it's the same I'm not there just pick a fight by, is uh, um, John I just oh have my to say, God. Thank, you. thank you for taking over my dice rules for me yeah it's nice I never asked really for one. first aid guys can't you do first aid on yourself not after you've just killed me. <laughs> no, it was, it's not a fumble. I just can't do anything for you. Okay. Uh, and I, I don't like you enough to spend all that luck. So. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of luck to be spending. I don't. I don't mind that. That's fine. Thirty. Yeah, it's way too much. Right. Okay, so Frank. Oh well, I'm gonna just let's just put you there for a moment. So Frank, through like I said, this door's open. Through the door, you can see. Um, this uh, you can see the room it doesn't look you can't see you can't see you can see hardly any furniture at all the only furniture you can see is uh, is like a, a small table in the center of the room it's uh that's that's here you just you can just see it through the open door um looks to be like some kind of uh like an altar like a small altar I'm going to go and investigate it, please. You going in? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, the first thing... So, yeah, so, okay. So, you step through the door. Um, so, the second thing that strikes you in the corner is a dead body. <clears throat> uh, yeah. That's not good, So, oh, lying... Lying on the floor, uh, lying on the um, lying on the floor between the altar and the uh, double double French doors that lead out onto the veranda. Uh, the curtains, uh, the curtains are closed, but uh, yeah, you know it leads it uh, leads out onto the veranda. Um, she's wearing this. So this uh, this it's the body of a woman. She's wearing a a black. It's quite a simple black morning dress. A feet are bare. And a body appears to be in a natural state of decay. While... Is it the one that saw outside in the snow? Uh, it's uh, you can't tell from here. So you can see there's there's ashes um, covering her hair and forehead. And there is a one uh, like a um, a uh, shaft of wood. A pointed shaft of wood about about the length of your arm that appears that penetrates um, a rib cage and protrudes all the way out of her back. Vampires, yeah. And you can both make a sanity roll at this sight. Oh God! As you realise the dead woman on the floor with this faint hint of a smile on her face. Is Veronica? How Shit. how bad is the decomposition of her? Oh, months. Oh. So if you pass your anti roll, you lose nothing. Cool. What colour dress is she wearing this evening? Um, it's uh, like a uh, yeah, but a play quite a plain black dress. Similar to what's on the court. Yes. <sighs> What do you want to do? Oh, you go first, Frank. What? what right. Want? Okay. I say we don't touch the body, and I say we check some other rooms whilst we're up here. Maybe have a look at the altar. Is there anything on the altar? Yeah, you that's can, true. You can go and have a look at it. So suspended above the altar is like a, a lantern, uh, a coloured lantern. It looks, it looks, um, looks a bit like. Um, uh, like a Moroccan style uh, style lantern. Let me see if I've got a picture of that somewhere. So if she's dead, but yet she's downstairs. Um, are we? Ta- are they spirits? And 
Are they all spirits? So, so this is there's a lantern suspended above the altar that looks uh, that looks like this. Have any of us actually touched any of them? Made physical contact with them? Uh, yeah, you sh- yeah, you sh- shook hands with them. Yeah, we shook hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I kissed her hand, didn't I? You did. You yeah. did indeed. Um, she really enjoyed it. <laughs> um, where are we? To the... no, nothing on the altar. Uh, so, so the altar itself. So, say so this says uh, it's like a sparsely furnished room. Conveys a sense. Conveys a sense, uh, and there's this atmosphere about the place of of it being a place of worship. Uh, you can see to one to one side over here. There's like a mm, change the pointer. Over here, there's like a um, built-in uh, built-in closet on the north wall. Um, the floorboards and wall paneling and entire ceiling are all made out of white pine. Uh, the windows on the east and south and, uh, and west facing. No west facing wall. Um, yeah, so there's windows. Uh, the curtains, are, like I said, the curtains are drawn across all the windows. Um, and you can see there's like the, the like I said, there's the French, uh, French doors that lead out onto the veranda. All the curtains are closed. Uh, and there's this altar in the centre of the room. And this, so Chris, when you uh, walk, so walking across the room from from that uh, position, you can see on the south facing length of the altar, it has there's two like small, like like a cupboard, like two doors. Just gonna look at the door. Yeah. Open it. Nothing bad will happen. No, I'm <laughs> sure they will. Is there a, this um, lantern that's suspended above the altar? Is, has it got a light in it? Is no, it lit? no, it's not lit. No. So it's set a fire to the house with it. But, oh, okay. Um, well, so what's in the altar then? In the, the doors. Okay, so opening these uh, these two little doors is like a small cupboard, like space inside. Uh, uh, inside there's a. Um, there's a folded, uh, folded piece of white, of really of like pure white linen fabric. You know, it's like it's all folded. You can't quite tell what it is. Um, and then the, a scarlet, uh, a folded up scarlet piece of fabric with um, with bits of gold silk running through it. Okay. Uh, there's also, um, in fact, there's two. There's two like um, white silk garments folded up, and two uh, a red one and a gold and one of golden silk. There's also a large globular glass bottle that uh, that's got contains some kind of oil, and a small pine uh, pine box about the size of a small shoe box. On top of the altar is a large silver censer. Have I any idea of um, what this is for? The origin of it? Is it? A, could I do an occult? Oh, uh, you could do an occult, or you can make. I'd like. Yeah, I'd let make an intelligence roll if you like. I'd rather do an intelligence because I've got about five percent. Yes, control. I believe so. We don't deal in supernatural. Oh my god! Oh, oh nice. you could have got an occult. <laughs> 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 um, so yeah it's, it's, this must be so Augustus and the Veronica spoke of um, like preparations and the you know the to all this uh, process and preparations they have they have to go through to uh, before performing the Ambulenum ab- Ambulenum Operation. So this must. You assume this must be. Um, this room must have been converted to that um, to part of that process. It's obviously like a place of a uh, place of tranquility, a place of meditation. Although perhaps not quite so tranquil with the this the stench of this rotting corpse just a, a few feet away from you. And I, in fact, I will let you make a a. Um, Either a first aid or a medicine or another intelligence role. What a first aid on the corpse. Yeah. 
Yeah. First aid, well, first aid, oh. medicine, first aid, it's medicine, or intelligence, whichever you wish. Go with, it. Go with intelligence again, because I'm a okay. very intelligent yeah. chap. But I won't get a one again. I'll get that. Mm. Okay, so it's a hard success. So, so like I said, this um, this piece of wood that uh, she's impaled upon, it's about a, as long. Her, uh, as her arm about two inches wide at the base and progressively narrowing to a sharp point that protrudes out of her back and her hands are wrapped around this piece of wood above the entrance wound and you are convinced she that she, she yeah that this is self-inflicted that's a bit silly so <sighs> Is she face, she's face down, isn't she? Yeah, she's kind of face down, kind of props. She's not completely on the floor. She kind of go like uh, she's, she's like uh, sort of impaled on this thing, and she's sort of fallen onto the floor. So she's Maybe. got her, her hands are on it, and she's yeah. so it's like rest. That's kind of resting on the floor. So she's, she's props her up slightly. So really odd. So I'm, I'll take the things out of the cupboard to have a better look at. And um, okay, so in. Yeah. So what? What is uh, what is Frank doing? I want to open the shoebox. Okay. So you're going up to the altar then? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, okay. So. So Chris, you you pull it, you take out you, you take out all these items. So you basically you find there is a pure white linen tunic with uh, like full length le- full length sleeves. There's a knee length scarlet and gold silk robe with with short sleeves. A girdle made of pure white silk and a headband made of golden silk. Uh, the shoe box contains. Um, a powdery substance. Um, you can make an intelligence check, Mister Mister Frank. Cocaine. Okay. So it's um, you're not overly familiar with what uh, the the the, mis- the the these like exo- the exotic um, orders that come from it, but you you surmise that this um, this powdery substance is um, is some form of incense, which would make sense since there is a like a censer sat on top of the altar, which is a uh, for the purpose of burning incense. And in fact, indeed, you can smell, you can detect the same smell come, um, coming from the sensor, although it's much fainter. Obviously, it's been the stuff that's in there has been burnt away, so the smell's much fainter. But yeah, the same smell comes from the sensor as in the um, this uh, this pine box. Interesting. Can I take it with me? Um, it's not nailed down. Yeah, I'll take it. So you notice. So when you're taking when you're taking these things out of the altars, well, you notice some discoloration um, along the sides, one side of the altar, uh, where somebody is. It, it's, it, it, you know, first you see like a few spots and, and you presume it's like um, it looks or it's like touching it it's quite oily so you presume it's um, it's where there's some of this oil from this bottle has perhaps been spilt but upon um, looking closer at the altar you see on one on one side someone has written in this oil a a as, as written onto the side of the altar in this oil, so it's quite faint. But when you close it, you can you can see it, and it says it's written in English, and it says, "In whatever place it may be, wherein commemoration of my name shall be made, I will come unto you, and I will bless you." Oh. It's got weird. What well, got weird? So I think <laughs> weirder. Weirder. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, what do you think? I think you should go and check that cupboard over there. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, is that a dresser? 
with the is it a mirror? Um, it's yeah, it's kind of a. I think it's like a dre- like a dresser, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, oh no, it's not. It's fireplace. Sorry, it's yeah, it's because of it fireplace? yeah. I, I'll 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 go over to the body then when he goes over the, dr- the dresser. But okay. I'll just watch him open the dresser just to make sure. Watch okay. Him attack, right? Okay, so open the dresser and or rather open the, cl- the closet and yeah, it's it's empty. Oh, we can hide in there. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of covered and hide. Oof. That was like phase two of my master plan. It, totally empty. Yeah, totally and utterly empty. What about the next door? You can go that way if you want. Yeah, I'll do that. Not too I'll, far. I'll just have a quick look at the body first. Is there anything? Um, I'm, can I turn her over? Or? Oh, yeah, if you want to, yeah. I mean, the, you know, the, 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 she's. I mean, she's. She smells the uh, the skin is like you know the body's the body's gone past the stage of bloating so like fluids have leaked out stain stain in the floor. I'll, I'll, I'll probably use one of the uh, gowns to like hold over my face because of the stench. Yeah. Um, but they should not not get anything on her uh, in that that dress. There's no purse or anything like no. that dangling down from it. No, no she's got uh, no no belongings. Um, you can well, they, now you're a bit close, you can make give me a natural world, uh, natural world please. I can try. Um, open my character sheet, okay. In fact, you can give me a natural world and an occult role. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, yeah. Come on, yeah. In fact, well, I will. I will let. I will let that be. A, I'll let you have that as a joint roll, actually. A combined roll. Got four percent. Yeah, I mean on the occult as well. So. Oh, right. Okay, so. So, um, so this this uh, piece of wood that uh, that she's impaled herself upon. It's not like a, it's not like a just a rough piece of wood. Ever, it's you know, it's obviously been been uh, like uh, you know been worked and it's all all polished and smooth, and it looks, uh, it looks like it's um it's made from, uh, it's almond tree wood. Would be like. Uh, what you would think of a, a stake to stake a vampire is it of a similar size? So, so you, you, that cro- that crosses your mind, but um, but you dismiss that. You believe this is a ritualistic wand. What a strange place to store it in your ch- uh, chest cavity. Uh, yeah. So, rank. You open the door to this next room. Um, you can, in fact, before you uh, uh, before you open, you can give me a spot hidden roll. Oh, oh okay. spin luck. Okay. So if you want to spend the two look, then you know how to do it. You click on the click on the roll, experience it. Okay. So just as you're going to go and open the door, you notice something odd about it. Along along the gap, the gap along the bottom of the door, and about running about three inches up on either side, the gap has been filled with wax. Oh God. Here, Chris, come and have a look at this. Doors filled with wax. What colour is the wax? Uh, it's white, white wax. So it's like being sealed from this side. Can we, would we be able to tell, or is it being sealed from the other side? Um, it would have been sealed from this side, yeah. And. We, did we pass another door into that room as we yes they looked like, yeah there was a, there was two more doors at the top of the landing well let's 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 try as, the uh, as well as well as uh, as well as a door um another door near the door to the bathroom maybe there's a reason it's been sealed the same yeah. it's just at the top yes. of the door uh, not at the top no the bottom along the uh, gap the gap along the bottom and runs about three centimeters up either side all oh, right. So no, oh, three door. inches. Sorry. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll follow you out. I just want to. I'm going to go back to the body, and I want to pull the stake out. 
Okay. Uh, um, I'm going to watch this happen because just in case. Okay. So, so you, so Chris, you go over and like, you know, brace yourself for the, uh, like, grit your teeth and go to pull this stake out. So, meanwhile, downstairs, back in the, in the, um, in the dining room, just nervously eating, like. <laughs> Take a moment for it to load back up again. Come on, Mr. Uh, my dummy character, come to this room. There we go. Just give it a moment while it loads up. Loading, running slow for some reason today. I like Dave's car, it just looks like it's sulking. Kill him. Other way. Okay. So, so meanwhile, back in the dining room, the uh, the dinner party is uh, going in full swing. Uh, like Lester Goodman, and uh, Lester Goodman, and 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 Lester Goodman, uh, um, engaged um, in conversation um, about their mutual form of employment, as well as. as as well as talking to uh, uh, to our Augustus and Veronica, of course. Are we being largely ignored? No, 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 you're not being ignored, but uh, unless you engage with them directly, they, they, they like exchange small talk with you and, you know, and try and as they're speaking, they, uh, they don't ignore you, they, uh, they look to you as this for, uh, you know, if, so if you want to um, join in and offer, offer an opinion and stuff, they, 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 they look to you as if to give you that opportunity. Like, um, so what part of New York is your bookstore in that might pop in when I'm visiting that way? Oh, it's uh, it's it's uh, just off um, Main and Central. And and, um, and the last woman says, "That's strange. My bookstore's on uh, on Main and Central." That's what I was oh, looking for. <laughs> oh, that's, so it's mine. Oh, that's what a weird coincidence. Oh, that's all mine. And then they're like. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I know you yeah. guys have never uh, met each other before. I take you before tonight. No, isn't that strange? How? And people how always point? and people always say like, it's a small world. How 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 wrong they are. Uh, what's the what's the name of your bookstores? And uh, how do people know to go to which one? Oh, uh, see the unspeakable tome. Oh, that is strange. That is that's a precisely the same name as my store. Oh, that was oh, fantastic! Have you all? Um, I think you all started at a different time. When did when did you open your store? And and the 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 um, yeah. So Lester Goodman tells you when he opened his store, and he tells you where you know, uh, like uh, um, how you know how often what inspired him to open it, and they all mimic exactly what uh, Lester Goodman said. All the Lester Goodmans have the exact same story. But none of them find it seem to find it strange at all, uh, including Augustus and, and Veronica. I sort of look at Adam like we need to get out of here. Mm. How, how do we extract ourselves without um, causing offence, or do we? With the dessert, what, what, are we still in the main course or are we in dessert yet? Uh, so yeah, you probably uh, probably just about to finish the uh, finish the main course, and um, Rosemary has brought just brought a tray a trolley in with the um, with dessert and Jeremiah. Oh, so no, uh, no comfort breaks between courses. Oh, well, they just so there's just about to be one actually. So, um, so like I say, Rosemary is standing by with the trolley of desserts, and Jeremiah stood waiting, um, waiting ready. In fact, he goes over to um, he um, comes out with um, with a bottle and pours uh, pours a um, 
also some of the contents of the bottle into uh, into everybody's glasses. So it looks like a wine bottle, but uh, but Augustus says, uh, tells you informs you it's uh, it's elderberry, um, it's elderflower wine, so it's it's non-alcoholic. Um. Uh, when everybody's glass is full, it says, uh, uh, Augustus stands up and says, uh, just before we uh, have our um, have dessert, I'd just like to take this moment to propose a toast to my wonderful daughter, Veronica. No, obviously, we'll join her. I'll join her anyway. So. And, and I'd ask you all to stand and make this to share uh, and join with me making this toast and to wish her the greatest of luck in her attempt her upcoming attempt to perform the Abramelin operation and Lester Goodman all the Lester Goodman said here here and they raise the glasses and the lights go out Meanwhile, upstairs. Are the lights on? The lights are on, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've, I've pulled the magic wand out, did we say? Uh, yeah, you, so you, you, you get, so you get like brace yourself, grit your teeth, and pull. There's a little bit of resistance, but you managed to pull this, uh, this wand. This, this like piece of wood from a chest and the body just like kind of slumps to the floor so I'm, I'm going to take that take the the robes and I'm going to follow um, Frank you were going to go to the other door yeah so let's see if it connects to this room by the seal let's see if there's wax on me Okay, so checking the checking the doors, both both the both of these doors, other doors on the landing, both are, again they're sealed. There's wax sealing uh, you know, sealing the gap at the bottom at the bottom of the doors, and about three inches up either side. He did. What did he say? He said don't go. It says something about doing don't go in some of the rooms. Yeah, don't disturb. You, you're welcome to use the bathroom. Don't disturb any of our any of the other rooms. Whoops, we've already done that. Um, there wasn't, there was no seal on the room what we've just been in. Was Not there? in this door, no, the door was already open. Already open. Right, I'll just look at you and. Um, Should like, we try the doors? Yeah, your decision if you want yeah, to. Yeah, let's try the doors. Okay, so which door are you trying first? The one. Try the end one. Yeah, uh, the one okay. Okay, so the um, so the door opens into a quite expensively appointed bedroom. You can see there's a there's a double double bed. There's a de uh, like a, a desk in one corner with a chair, a nice rug, fireplace on on one wall, and a, a bedside, small occasional table at the side of the bed, as well as a door leading out onto the rear balcony. Again, all the curtains uh, on the windows are closed. I'd like to step over the wax and go in. Okay. Go on. There you go. Is it easy to open with the wax seal? Yeah. It just it, there's a there's a slight bit of resistance, but you can you can hear and you can hear like an audible a faint audible crack as the, as it breaks the seal. Oh, no, broken seal, sheep. There's no um um there's no statues or anything near the windows. Um, no, no. Is man's room. It's 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 hard to tell. It's hard to tell. Um, the bed is is neatly made up. Uh, there's no there's no personal effects around that would suggest um, it's uh, you know one way or another. Uh, the desk in the corner is neatly arranged with a row of texts and books along its back edge, and a large portion of the desk is is being is has been kept clear so that. Um, Two or more, so you know, so there's, so there's not, you know, plenty of space. So, so, so maybe two or more books could be open, you know, looked at and worked upon at a time. 
at one end of the desk is a pen stand and a and a tear off you know one of them tear off calendars you know the kind of things it's like on a on a rotary thing you tear you tear the dates off <laughs> Is there any documents or wordings um, work on the desk or anything? Uh, you can go and have a look. Yeah, yeah. So, the, like I said, the beds, the beds tied. There's a pair of plain slippers outside the bed. On the table at the side of the bed is a brass carriage clock. Um, I was uh, talking men's slippers. These, so again, the the kind of there could be the. They're not like pink fluffy slippers, uh, but they're not clearly like, you know, um, obviously male slippers. Probably from this, uh, this quite small though, so. That's it could be. So like I said, there's, uh, the bed's quite tidy, it's all, it's all neat and neat, neatly made up, the, te- the sheets pulled pulled tightly and took all tucked in. Um, on the table at the side of the bed there's a brass carriage clock, uh, a half burnt candle in a silver holder and a small octagonal silver plate upon which sit two boxes of uh, long matches. Is, is the clock showing the correct time? It is, uh, so when you check the clock, it is, it's stopped. Ooh, does it, what time did it stop at? And is there a, does it have a date on it? Uh, no, it's not, there's no date on it. It's just like a carriage clock. It's, it's stopped at um, 10 past 10. And what time um, are we at? Uh, the time is, it's uh, like 25 to, 25 to 8 in the evening. Uh, there's an alarm. Uh, there's like an alarm on it as well, you know, can set alarm. And the alarm is set for 5 a.m. Rise, so there's stacked on the floor under the table are uh, five small small boxes, each maybe about six inches square. Open, open, open. And in the in the corner here, there's a, there's another another like built-in closet. So um, so Frank, you work. Uh, so you go over to the over to the desk. So there are seven books on the on the desk. Uh, so one is the Torah, which is in scroll form, and it's um, it's held in an upright silver case, and it's um, it's the Hebrew text. So that was missing from the library. That, yeah, that yeah, was. yeah, it was. It was. Uh, there is a King James version of the Bible. So quite a large, leather-bound volume with metal clasps in in English. Uh, there's the um, a copy of the Quran. Uh, again, it's a leather-bound volume decorated with gold leaf, and it's uh, in the original original Arabic. There's also a book called the Sacred the Book of the Sacred Magic of Abramelin the Mage. Translated by Mathers, and it's a red cloth bound hard book in English. There's also one uh, is uh, appears to be written, uh, appears to be German, that is called Das Buch Ambre Abre Melin. Das Buch Abre Melin. I think you should read them. Um, don't read them. Of course, it's only way. Bit of a bad time reading since we're staying in the night. So there's also there's also an untitled thick octavo leather bound volume and uh, a slender at the side of that a slender bookram bound volume. How how big is the um, the red one that's in English? Um, the red one. Are we talking like a big tome, or could I put it in a coat pocket? Oh, it won't fit in a it won't fit in a, uh, in a coat pocket. It's probably about um, probably about the size of a like you know a typical textbook. I don't really need to hide it. I am walking around with a magic wand and some ropes. So. <laughs> <coughs> Put it in the swag bag. Um, 
so did we anything uh, there was the calendar thing is there anything can we see any particular dates circled or anything uh, so yeah. it's like like you say it's one of them it's one of them calendar but it's got like a single it's got a single date on it and then you t- you kind of tear the p- tear the pages off as you as you you know you got. Is it is, what date is it? Is it, uh, it, it no? It is Monday, September twenty second, nineteen nineteen. Nineteen nineteen. Are we in the year twenty? Uh, nineteen twenty. Yeah, nineteen twenty. Uh, February yeah. the fifth. And she's been preparing how long? Eight was it? Eighteen months. Uh, no, she hasn't yeah, started. Oh, she hasn't started. I think she has started. I think she started probably near this date because she's dead. Mm. So, so um, Frank, you can give me a spot hidden as well. Okay, so the two. Um, the two sort of slim books um, that are stacked, they're in this stack on the on the on the desk. Uh, you kind of pick them up out of, just out of curiosity, because like I said, there's no, you can't see any identifying titles or anything on them. And you discover they are both journals. One written by Augustus Wayland, and the other by Veronica. Well, this might explain what the is going on. Yeah. Um, so we'll take those. Um, I'm, I'm not going to read them now, are we? Um, Did you say there's another cupboard in here? Uh, there's another closet, yeah. Another closet, yeah, over there. Okay, okay. So meanwhile, downstairs. In the dark. In the dark. In the dark. Yeah. Dark. In the dark. 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 Surrounded by Goodmans. <laughs> well, you'll, you'll not have to roll your sanity because you'll not be able to see anything. So you'll be fine. Yeah, that helps. Being in pitch black, knowing that um, something swirly's going on. Yeah. Nope. I'm interested to know what dessert's going to be. <laughs> if they're eating rats and dead, dead things. Maybe you're the dessert. Yeah. Okay, so the lights, the lights come back on. So they're only, they're only like maybe can't be enough for more than like a, a couple of a couple of seconds. And and the lights come back on. The Lester Goodmans are gone. And Augustus says, "That was a fantastic meal, uh, Rosemary. You are to be commend uh, you and your husband are to be commended on on yet another fine meal." And she, she oh. says, "Oh, thank you, uh, thank you, Mr. Will. Thank you. It's uh, we are, we do try to do our best for you." Sorry, Mister Mister Wellen, what what happened to the um Mister Goodman? Mister Goodman. Mr. Goodman, who was um, it was a fine, it was a fine, a fine dinner party, wasn't it? I, I, I trust you found the company um, in 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 well, if, uh, we've left the uh, the uh, the meal is over. The you know the meal is over. We the um they they left obviously. Oh. Um, just they just seem to leave quite abruptly. Uh, oh, um, uh, did, you, did you get the um, impression they were uh, they were somewhat uh, disgruntled, defended, uh, Veronica? This is uh, uh, no, Father. I don't, I, I don't believe so. I. I, uh, I had a wonderful time. And oh well, as long as I had a wonderful time, um, that's that's the main thing. Um, your hospitality, of course, is fantastic. Uh, and it should... was a very pleasant meal, uh, as you said. Um, and, uh, yeah, I was just looking forward to uh, sir. Um, I had a chat with uh, Mr. Goodman about his books, bookstore. Uh, indeed, it's a. I, 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 I'm sure you. Uh, it was a great, it's a, a most, um, a most interesting 
insightful and entertaining dinner guest, wouldn't you agree? So meanwhile, sort of Rosemary and, and Jeremiah, they, they're busy about tidying, tidying away the, uh, the remains of the, of the uh, you know, evening's meal. Um, well, I think maybe we should take our leave. I wouldn't want to impose on uh, um, any longer. Um, thank you. And of course, uh, Veronica, we wish you the best endeavours in your uh, journey you're about to take. Um, it sounds absolutely fascinating. Oh, well, will you, uh, will you not be, uh, will you not be staying with uh, Mr. Mr. Vernon, um, and Mr. Ansel, they said, uh, they intended to stay the night, uh, you, of course, you're... Oh, was that the, was that the plan, um, Adam, were you planning to stay? Oh. Well, uh, yep, but... Uh, sorry, last night, uh, sorry, my, my, my memories went a bit, uh, sorry, last night uh, we were, uh, we had a bit of urgent business in town, and was planning to leave, but, um... See, I wouldn't want to impose on Veronica's um, starting off with her project. Oh, well, it will begin. Uh, Veronica will begin in earnest to tomorrow morning, uh, five a.m. Wow, that's a that's an early start. That's um... well, uh, you, you you shouldn't. Well, you um, you know, as I say, you're more than well you're more than welcome to um, to stay if you don't mind uh, roughing it on the on the couches in the lounge. Um, the Veronica will be. Um, confine herself to to the upper rooms of the house which have been specifically prepared for uh, the various um, stages of the uh, of the operation oh, of course um... I think maybe we should uh, get, definitely see about getting the see if we can salvage your car because that uh... It's kind of worrying me about it. they've been left out there in case somebody thinks it's been abandoned. Uh, well, yeah. uh, this, this the, the weather outside looks uh, looks um, a little a little nasty. Uh, perhaps you would be better waiting until the morning. I mean, as I say, you're more than welcome to stay. Well, of course, I wouldn't want to impose. And no, it's no, it's no trouble at all. No trouble at all, Mr. Eisenberg. Well, uh, oh, well. You, um, I'm at your service, sir. And you've uh, leave me nothing but to accept your uh, gracious offer. Uh, like I said, the last thing I wanted to do was impose our private affair. You've uh, been very generous with your time in sharing uh, your family's insights with us. Uh, well, I'm glad you found uh, the evening enjoyable. Uh, well, if uh, if you'll excuse me, I I have some personal matters to attend to. Uh, uh, Veronica, if you if you uh, would you accompany me, please? And um, Augustus and um, Veronica excuse themselves and uh, leave leave the uh, leave the dining room as now into the hallway. Rose, Rose, I turn to Adam and I go, we need to get out of here. We die. Yeah. If this is insane. This is I I that was I have all lost all. I have lost half an hour of my life. I don't know where I was. This is I, I just I can't You've lost up now. Did you, what the fuck happened to all of those Mr. Goodmans and why were there nine Mr. Goodmans in one room? I have You didn't know each other. I have absolutely no idea what that was. I don't want to know what that was. I just want to go somewhere Check down else. Here. Where did those other two go? Did they leave leave us? I'm not sure what happened to them. They went to the toilet about half an hour ago. <laughs> no one's come looking for us. <laughs> yeah, they've been gone. They've been gone about ten minutes. Oh, that's a big pit. Well, probably less than that actually, because we've been slow. We've been switching between. So yeah, maybe about yeah, no more than ten minutes certainly. Right, so <laughs> it's up to the M guys if they're planning to come back. Because um, I'm kind of hurry. There is something definitely chunky going on. Yes, but um, the important thing is I do not care. This is scary. <laughs> and I don't think we should be here for whatever it is. It's not good. 
Да. I'll be honest, all those Mr. Goodman's put the wind up me. Yes, um, that's why I'm, I sort of show the behind shaking about I'm like... Can I uh, look out the window? Is, um, it's still snowy. Um, yes, you look out the window, uh, you open it, so you go over to the, um, the curtains, and uh, there's no window. Well, a bit drafty. It's, um, it, the window has been bricked up. I'll try the other... <laughs> it's the window. same. Okay, I'll try the other window. It's the same. Oh, shit. You can make a sanity roll. Thanks. <laughs> Are I seeing this? Uh, yes, you're seeing this as well, yeah, so we can make one as well, yeah. Because oh. I'm like, right, Frank, right, Frank, Frank, this, there were windows. Frank, so, so, I don't hear. so you can see these right. calls for Frank, and I love Frank, I shouldn't have to make a sound. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you don't lose anything. I'm, I think Obviously. I'm already on edge, and nothing's really surprised me right now. I'm just like, <laughs> told you we should have left. I told you. I'm just like, we should have left. We, I, I said we shouldn't have left. We shouldn't have went in. We should just got the hell out of here. Why can't we just go somewhere normal? There were there were windows there before, weren't there? There was uh, indeed. Yes. Um, I dread looking at the front door. Um, are we just alone in this room now? Yes. Uh, let's just go and have a look at the front door. Okay. Yeah. So you both, uh, I'll just, I'll move your tokens. It's easier that way. Um, so it's uh, it's blue and green, isn't it? So yeah, you move. You head over to you you know out the door into the hallway. Who? I'm not going to like this, am I? Where's the other two? Oh, you're on, both on top of each other. So who? So yeah, you're stood in the hallway by the front door. So, so yeah, who's opening the door? I'll open the door. So you open the door. Okay, yeah, you can. Uh, it won't. It won't open. You try and open it, but you you can't open it. We're dead. It won't. I'll help him. Okay, so so you you try um, so uh, Adam you you get uh, you you try it on it opens straight away, um, and the doorway is bricked up. <laughs> but yeah, you now you have no problem at all opening the door. It just opens. It's fine. Why do they want us involved in their strange rituals? Oh, you can both make a listen roll as well. Oh, lovely. Oh. Oh, wow. Wow. So, Ping. so Daredevil. Back on location. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so Andrew, you're you're probably you're probably um, distracted by the fact that you couldn't this the door this front door would not budge at all. You rattled the handle and try and pull the door and it wouldn't budge at all. Whereas Adam just went up to it and there were no you know, it, 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 no, no problem at all. No, no, the door wasn't sticking or anything. Just, just turn, turn the, turn the handle, open the door straight away. So, which is a little, a little puzzling. Um, it was still, but bricked up. It, but it's still bricked up. Yeah. Um, Adam, you hear like a creak of a floorboard um, above on the landing above causes you to look up, and you just catch, catch a brief glimpse of these dirty feet walking past the um, walking past the top of the stair the top of the stairs the land the landing at the top of the stairs
that's all you can see because of the you know, kind of the angle of the stairs. So you're looking, you like you hear this noise, look up and you just see these these bare, filthy feet with broken, jagged, broken toenails walking across the landing out of sight. You know, I'm beginning to think that maybe we should leave and burn this house down. Mm, I'm not disagreeing with that. But there's a blizzard outside. And the windows and door are bricked up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and that. Maybe don't, maybe don't set fire to it until we've got... Uh, Out. Uh, yeah. So, um, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Back upstairs, so back upstairs in in the bedroom, um, you open, you check the closet, and inside, um, let me just double check before I say it's, uh, it's completely wrong. Um, where's the closet? So inside the closet, is uh, it's, it's more or less empty. There is a. I'll find it in a minute. Ah, so there's only three hangers in the closet. One. One is there, uh, empty, and the other two, upon the other two, hang two identical plain white dresses that smell faintly of incense. What size are they? Um, well, you might fit in them if you want. Yeah, I'm sure they look not fit you, So, they look like they're probably Veronica's. Um, you, can, you can give me a spot hidden roll as well. Okay, right, cool. So, like I said, the curtains are drawn on all the windows, including the uh, the like um, the door that leads out onto the that presumably leads out onto the rear balcony. Um, but you can see, stood here, you can just almost obscured by the curtains, you can just see that um, the door has been nailed shut. You can see like nails have been you know, along, you know, at least at least along the the base of the door and part, maybe part of. You can see just see them on the on the, along one edge. There's like nails. The the door has been nailed shut. Oh, brilliant! Are we put it in? Well, that, that's onto the veranda, did you say? Yeah, onto the onto the rear balcony. Yeah, the balcony, uh, like a balcony at the rear of the house. Okay, like so you can't you can't see outside because the curtain uh, the curtain there's like a curtain drawn across it. Okay. So if they don't want something coming into the house, isn't it? Uh, like your the thing what you saw before. It's like they know it's out there, but they don't want it in the house. Yeah. Can I? Uh, how thick are these journals? Um, and while he's snooping around, can I just like flick through them? You can you can start and look through them. It's going to take, it'll take um, you know take more than a couple. It's gonna, of... If it's going to take hours, I won't. But I'm just if there's anything that um... more hers than the father's, more Veronica's. So let me have a look. Um, so that's number seven. So, so flicking through it, it's um, it's it's not just a journal. It's part it's part journal, part notebook. Um, um, which makes the contents, the flow of its contents, quite hard to to decipher and make out. It's a this kind of random scrawlings and notes written in margins, little little diagrams and sort of like last random entry. very last entry, is there a date? Um there is no date, but yeah you find you find flipping to the back you find uh you find this. 
uh, which I shall just. Um, you will start a book at the end. Uh, where are we? Um, your there we go, Brit. Okay. Oh, why can't you <laughs> use the typewriter? Uh, Do you want to read it, or I can I can transcribe it if you wish? Uh, yeah, I think uh, you should transcribe it. Okay, so for the benefit of anybody at home, we probably can't read that either. It says, I have said before, I do not believe it was a heart attack. My father was murdered. I am certain of this, but need proof. All I have is the text, text he followed. That must be it. Lester Goodman sold him the book and the lamp. Who is he? Why did he want my father dead? The only way to obtain proof is to follow in my father's footsteps and trap the being that did this to him once it appears again. I am confident I can hold it here once it is summoned. I know the arts by which I can interrogate it. If it withstands my questioning, at least I will have it imprisoned to show others. The authorities will have to believe me then. I will draw upon the power of Saturn to construct a ward that will hold the spirit. Sigils created from its Camilla will mark the four cardinal directions and turn the house into a prison that it cannot escape. Should the need arise, these may be brought together around the spirit to banish it, akin to tightening a noose around its neck until it has no other direction left in which to flee but back to the invisible world from whence it came. Barrier, bind, obstacle, prison. These words will hold the spirit in Saturn's leaden grip. May the faces of the angels that guard the gates of the Garden of Eden guard this house and prevent any evil from leaving the confines of this house. Midnight. Eighteen months have come to an end. If I fail tomorrow, and I follow in my father's footsteps, ultimately to my own grave. I hope that someone might one day read this and succeed in bringing the guilty to justice. May the fruit of any victory the spirit may attain prove to be a saturnine chalice indeed. So I've, I've just read that to Frank then. Okay. <clears throat> right, I think it's about time we tried to leave this fucking shit hole. What do you reckon? Um, we, yeah, we can certainly try, but didn't haven't you already tried that and you ended up coming back here? Uh, yeah, but just getting out of the house would be a good start. Well, let's let's go. Let's go back downstairs, get the others, and let's let's go. Yeah. Let's open these curtains first. Is it bricked up? You don't know anything about that. Yeah, no, no, I'm open the curtains then. Sorry? I'll open the curtains, please. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, to, uh, you open the curtains and the uh, the exit is bricked up. Brilliant. Right, let's leave. So you can make a sanity roll upon seeing that. Oh. <laughs> you asked for it. Oh. So do the, do the bricks obscure the, um, the nails, what you saw before? No. Are they... Oh yes, sorry, yes. So when you pull them back, the yeah, the whole thing it's um it's bricked up. The the nails aren't visible anymore, the the whole door is gone, it's bricked up. Ah. So we know yes. yeah. we know something's just changed, so um it, I don't think we're gonna be able to leave. Is it an illusion? Okay, so you don't lose any sanity, surprisingly. Does it does it are you touching it? Is it physical? Uh, yeah, so to, so touching it, you can you can feel it's it's cold brick where you can feel the texture of the brick and the mortar between the bricks. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Right, let's get the hell out of here. Well, yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. 
Uh, okay. Uh, well, so are we, are we going straight downstairs? Yeah. Yeah, you're going straight downstairs. Yes, yeah, I believe so. Okay, so let me uh, let me grab. Uh, do, 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 do. So, um, so yeah, due to um, oh shit. Said oh, four guardians, didn't it? It and did. I think we found we found three, so we need to find the other one. So let me just uh, move to the uh, ground floor. Might be in the kitchen. We've not been in there, have we? So you're taking you're taking the two, you got the two books, the uh, two journals with you, haven't you? Yeah. 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 Okay. So what, what way is walking? So, um, so like I say, um, Adam, you you like look up the stairs and you see you hear there you hear this creak of the creak of the floorboards and you look upstairs and you just get a brief glimpse of these dirty, bare, dirty feet, uh, legs and feet with broken toenails. You just uh, just like crossing the landing at the top of the landing and and disappearing out of sight. And moments later, just maybe can't be more than like a couple of seconds later you see um you see chris and frank uh start coming down the stairs and join you in the hallway we're in a spot of bother lads this is not good we need to leave but we can't so can um have you left the door open can we see that the the front door's bricked or? uh i guess they haven't closed it so they were closing it yeah so yeah the front really door, see much point <laughs> it, it, we'll go the the door to the veranda's bricked up upstairs as well and i'll i'll just give them the that the journal that i've read with the back page just, okay just read that where is everybody still in the dining room? Where is everybody? They are gone. Um, I explained the whole thing with the dinner party and the fact that... Well, all Veronica's just... dead. I found a body upstairs. <laughs> so, I'm presuming she's failed. And she's been rotting for some time. So, she it's knows. not like a recent the thing. The Veronica that we saw earlier is um, a ghost and her father's dead as well. <laughs> And, and Mr. Goodman done something towards killing him. Uh, I, I have no idea what all those Goodmans was about. But she blames him for murdering her father. What it boils down to, guys, is we're in serious fucking trouble. Yeah, I was um, getting that impression. <laughs> so, I mean, we could try and smash through the um, the bricks, or maybe smash through the wall. But maybe we we need to get find the other guardian and somehow lure the creature into the house. It has to. Do I remember the the scene in the garage? Uh, do you remember the scene in the garage? I was looking under the... No, you the don't. Rise. No, you don't. No, I don't remember that, but okay. Um, so essentially it was busy from a left with uh, Jeremiah and then a busy found himself walking back in again. Yeah. Right, so you okay. don't remember any of that stuff about outside. Okay. No, but I mean, even before outside, because it was seeing her fate under the Rolls Royce. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. That's yeah. On the beat of Webble, let's run. Yeah, so you remember you remember coming to the house, uh, a meeting, meeting Augustus, and the initial meetings and things, um, and then then there's just like a, a blank. So what what do we think? Do we think Mr. Goodman is responsible for summoning the creature and giving? Um, Wayland a heart attack or has the creature been summoned by the daughter like an angel and it's gone uh, wrong didn't he say he tried first yeah he, he did oh, yeah. So maybe though so maybe he summoned it that gave him a heart attack but you can hear the sound the strains of piano music coming from the lounge that'll be Veronica maybe we should just go and talk to her and ask her yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, kind of uh, I'll, I'll just say, at least there's no tempting this time. We can. Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> it seems quite pleasant. Tentacles. We could. Um, we can show her a journal. Yeah. Um, Let's go and tell her she's dead. We could show her a body. Yeah. Let's maybe, well, I, yeah. I can show this. Um, your body's upstairs, and I've just taken this out of you. You might want to read your journal. Do you think that might be a bad idea? Well, I don't know. Have we got any other ideas? Some bastard bricked the doors up. So Find the bodies, tends to trigger things, and we need to be uh, Let's split up. How about that one? How about so the, 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 door, the door to the dining room opens, and, and Jeremiah appears. Ah! Jeremiah, uh, I have a couple front of front door questions for you. Have you been bricking the front door up? Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Um, the front door appears to um, try to step out for, to see how the weather was. And uh, I had some difficulty. I don't know if you would mind giving me a hand. This is, this is difficulty. So, well, how, how do you mean? Uh, if, if you would follow, uh, follow me. Um, uh, uh, well, uh, well, actually, sir, I was I was coming to find you. I, w- I wonder if I could ask your your assistance. Um, I am. Um, I haven't seen. Have you seen Rosemary? I, was, uh, I haven't seen her since um, uh, since we uh, c- we finished clearing away the dinner the dinner thing. She she left. Um, she left the kitchen and I haven't seen her since. She said we haven't seen either of you. Um. Oh sh. Uh, Maybe she's going to I've, I've, I've no 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 sir. I've I, I've checked. I've checked every room in the house, uh, even our personal quarters. I. Uh, I said uh, there's uh, the only place I haven't checked so far is the basement. Oh, we like basements, don't we? I'm sorry to impose, gentlemen, but as you know, as you already know, I'm a little unsteady on my feet, and the uh, basement is, is uh, regrettably, is, uh, is in, a, in, a, in a bit of a state, and it is quite extensive. I, I wonder if I might impose upon one of you gentlemen uh, to assist and assist me in, in checking and ma- making sure that um, my my wife is is okay. So that she, it is I'm quite. Sure, I'm sure we can assist you, uh, but uh, yeah, possibly if we could make our way to the basement via the front door. Uh, the, the, ba- the basement uh, access is is just here under the under the stairs by the telephone. Maybe oh, in fact, um, there I'll be just draw the curtains. Maybe there's a statue down in the basement. Uh, Mr. Ansel, that you might be able to have a look at. Uh, I, I'm, I just want to have a word with um, Veronica, uh, so I'm going to head off in the direction of the piano. Okay. Um, I'm just going to draw the curtains. Okay. Uh, what in the in the hall? Uh, is there not a window in the hall? Yeah, yeah. There's a window. There's a window here. Yeah. So there's, there's a window here, and there's a window just to the just like part of the stairs. Yeah. And just, yeah, they're, they're bricked up. I'll just um, gesture to the window. To um, Jeremiah. Right, okay, it comes. It comes and looks. It's, 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 it's terrible weather. And he pulls the curtain shut. It's best best to keep the curtains closed. So it's, uh, keep uh, keep the heat in. What little heat there is. Can you open the front door for us when you want to leave? Uh, you're more than welcome to. Um, uh, to uh, to leave, so if you wish, I, but uh, Mr. Mr. Willand uh, informed me that you were uh, you would be staying the night in in the lounge. I don't fancy it anymore. Anyone um, else? Well, I think we need to uh, have a funny film. We need to play this out. Let's. Um, I tell you what, uh, Jeremiah, you've been more than courteous to us. I think we'll help you. Oh, I, I do. I, 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 I'm, I'm so sorry to trouble you, gentlemen. I, but I, I'm, I'm a little concerned for my wife. Is she's um? Is she partial? Uh, um, no, I shall not ask that because I can't. The, uh, as I say, the cellar is a little, a little treacherous. The, the um. 
Do you have a, a torch? There, there's lighting. There's electric, electrical lighting down there. So, to, well, I, I, of course, I can, uh, I can get you a torch. A, would be useful, I think, just in case there's any dark corners. Oh uh, well, well, of course. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure that there's one over here, just in this, uh, in this utility closet here by the uh, cell. And he goes over to this little, little closet, little cupboard here, and, and um, hands you. Hands you uh, a uh, who is that? Who is this? Who is it? Adam? Adam. So yeah, he hands you Adam a flashlight. Uh, so I shall now give you a flashlight. Cool. Is this there anything can... else convenient in that cupboard? Uh, convenient cupboard. Nothing of particular use. Okay. Uh, I'll call for the other two. So, uh, Chris, you were going through into the. Um, you're going to find Veronica, are you? Yeah. Okay, so I'll stick you in there with the light in the lounge with Veronica. She was indeed playing the piano. Not going to kiss her hand again. Okay, and uh, so what's the rest of you doing? Who's going. Who's we're going to. All going to the basement. Um, okay. Walking around this place on my own doesn't seem like a good idea. Okay, so um, so so Frank and uh, Adam and Andre are all going with um, with Jeremiah into the basement. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this Chris wants me to go with. You know, I've funny, in the I've funny film with one behind his body and uh, Rosemary's body. So basements are fine. Avoid attics. Okay, cool. All right, I'll go with you guys. Okay, so. Back to the basement. So it might go black for for um, the screen might go dark for for your job. It has. Yeah, I shall so, correct that when we come back to you. Um, it has for me as well. Yeah, it will do for a moment. It'll take a moment for oh. it to uh, load up, and then I've got to plunk your tokens down. Marvelous. In the graves. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe she's gone in the basement to um, find some more rats to serve up for tea. Yeah. Okay. So as you as you um, Jeremiah opens the the door to the to the basement and he uh, just he reaches inside and pulls on a um, pulls on a pull string at the top of the stairs. Uh, which, uh, and as you see the lights come on down in the basement. Although they they they, they are a little um, the, the the bulbs are a bit um, they're not the brightest, but they you know they, they provide. You can see once you get down to the bottom, you can it, it's the, the the far corners are like thrown into shadow, but it it more or less illuminates. Um, Basement. It's, just, it's just a, uh, the, 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 as I say, the basement's quite extensive. It's, uh, it's separated off into, into various various rooms. It's, uh, it's oh God! It's like a... it's Rosemary. Rosemary, my dear, are you all right? <sighs> Let's go find her body. So the oh, basement. Yeah. So the basement is, he says this, yeah, it's like he, as he's true to his word, this, this, as he said, this place is, is pretty big and it's stacked with like, oh, don't be moving too far ahead. You got to, to, well, you, got to, you can't be like, you're not going to be moving together, otherwise you're like moving out of turn. Uh, is, um, is Adam moving or is he just staying at the bottom of the stairs? That sounds like combat, moving out of turn. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's gonna glow and light. Well, you can. You can if, if somebody wants to rush off ahead that's of that, somebody else, that's perfectly fine as well. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so it's so this place is uh, it's cluttered with old furniture stacked against the walls, boxes of items of sentimental value. You can see like old, dusty, cobweb-covered uh, dolls, houses, and boxes of suitcases. Old suitcases full of clothes. And various things. 
well, yeah, loads of flammable things. But yeah, it's, it's, it's like all sort of cluttered and stacked up, but a lot of it is like, you know, fallen over. It's, it is quite, uh, if you're not careful, it is quite treacherous or underfoot. Yeah. So as you go, like, uh, Jeremiah, Jeremiah says, Rosemary, Rosemary, my dear, are you, are you here? Are you all right? And he, he's kind of off, moves off ahead. Are we allowed to follow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, Rosemary! Rosemary! And it looks like Adam's hanging back now. Well, you can hang back if you want. It's perfectly fine if that's what you wanted to do. But uh, you've got the torch. You I was going to as we, yeah. well stop running off ahead. We're following this guy, Jeremiah. So don't forget, you can uh, if you select your token, you can. Um, oh, where we go? You can um, you can like rotate your thing around so you can look around with your torch. That's so. Enough. Uh, so you click on your token, so it's got a selection box around it, and then you can hold Control or Shift down and use your mouse wheel to ah. to uh, rotate your token. Uh, remember to take some more photos. Ah. Mm. Uh, can I? Um, oh, I don't like that toggle combat state. Uh, <laughs> yeah, left click, not right click. Can I? Uh, prepare, well, there's someone here, folks. Prepare my um, camera flash. Yes, yeah, of course you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get get some action photos of um, Frank and on- Andre uh, being oh, attacked. Oh, by is this going to be the very first uh, found footage? <laughs> <laughs> is this a door? Uh, no, so that's a that's a window. It's a it's a window out to a, to the outside. And um, but as you get closer, you can see it's bricked up. It's bricked up. So Adam, uh, as you cast your torch out, uh, you you spot something. It looks like a, f- a a shoe in the uh, amongst all the debris in the corner. Oh. And as you approach. You see in the southeast corner two bodies. Is it um, Rosemary and Jeremiah? It, it is. It is indeed. It is the bodies of the Linwoods. Rosemary. Rosemary is kind of with her arms wrapped around the 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 decaying body of Jeremiah whose eyes they're just empty sockets where his eyes would have been because is he in a worse are. state of decay than her? no about the same uh, Jeremiah you've got some questions to answer mate um, I think we've found you right I think it says Rosemary. He found Rosemary. And he, he come. He, he comes over, uh, and then just kind of stops and stares like this look of disbelief on his face. Is what is this? This what, what's happening? An excellent question. Um, guys, <laughs> I don't think I made it out of the garden. No, you definitely didn't. <laughs> Thank God. Whoa, what, 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 what was that? Oh, oh God. Oh my God. I remember. I remember. Um, suddenly there's this, the temperature drops and you can feel, you can see the breath. <coughs> Frosting in, in, you know, like in front, of, uh, in front of your faces, and there's a this scream as this uh, naked, long, uh, 
uh, this naked form of this uh, this woman with like broken, rotten teeth, her eyes torn from uh, gouged from uh, from the sockets, comes just like appear, just like comes straight out of the wall. Uh, flying straight towards Jeremiah, and as, as she hit, as, uh, as she, her uh, hands grab, like grab him round the throat, and he's like struggling. He's going, "Oh my god! Oh my god!" And just flies straight into the opposite wall, and he's just his body is just like smashed, smashed apart. Uh, and you can. You know, yeah, he's he's, uh, he's he's like yeah. So he's just so he's like broken body, just like collapses to the floor. His skull, like he's just like body, just broken, like it's like bones, like broken and twisted. His his head smashed open. His cur- like uh, so, uh, the whole his whole body just cr- uh, just crushed and broken, and he he falls to the floor dead, blood pooling out across the floor beneath him. <clears throat> And you can uh, well before that. Uh, and you can all make a sanity. You can the three of you can make a sanity roll. Um, I think I know what's happened to the good ones. I think we're going to find. Um, I think we're going to find a chamber filled with good ones. Yeah. If you fail, you lose a one d four points of sanity. If you pass, you lose one point of sanity. That's appropriate music. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you can you can you can hear the sound of the piano music coming down. You must be you must be pretty much directly beneath the um, the lounge. Let's get the fuck out of here, guys. Um, guys, I think I know why there's loads of big ones. Go on. Well, um, a point. The Jeremiah's body here, and then a point to the other body. I think this is happening over and over again. Yeah, and um, that, you know he's killing them over and over and over and over and over again to punish them for the murder of their dead. I think. Yeah, but why us? Why are we involved in this? Yeah, well, we turned up at the wrong place at the wrong time, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Seems mighty coincidental. Uh, anyway, um, I sort of look at Adam. When we get, if we get through this, we have a story to tell you. This is not the f- our first rodeo. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> strange things. Okay, so meanwhile, so Chris, you you go through to uh, make your way through to the lounge where Veronica is sat at the piano playing quite happily. No sign of her father. No, no, he's not there. She, she kind of, she glances as you as you open the door and come in. She glances up briefly and smiles before, like you're focusing back on a back to a plane. I'll, um, I'll try and smile and I'll um, gingerly approach the piano. Okay. And um, can I, can I, um, can I have a, a, a play at the piano? Can I have a go? Oh, she she stops and uh, she like looks up and stops and gets up. She says, "Well, well, well I, of, of, of course, Mister Mister Werner, if you if you wish." So, I'll 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 let her go up and then I'll I'll sit down at the piano and I'll just I'll put um I'll put the the um her journal on top of the um the piano. Just I say. I, I, I found this upstairs. Is it yours? Right, she she goes over. Oh, it's goes over. Oh, it's it's just, um. So yes, uh, wh- wh- why uh, why on earth? Are you, what on earth are you doing in my in my in my bedroom, Mister oh, Verner? Uh, just... I've also got the um, the stick on me as well. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. Um, so I'll, I'll I'll keep that in my hand. Okay. Well, it's it's like it like I said, it's pretty long. It's about like I said about oh, like it's quite long. Yeah, I'll yeah. Probably walk in the into the room. This is it. Oh, oh, what what are you doing with the 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 one that is I require that is I require that for the for the ambulance operation? But well, what are you I, doing, I, uh, Mister Werner? I 
I, I like, I'll explain everything, but can you just do me two things? Just answer me two questions. What, what, what's the date today? The date? The date is, um... Oh. I... Take, take a look at the, the last page. Your, your last entry um, in, your, in your journal. She kind of likes it. She's got a, like a puzzled look on her face, and she she like um, walks over and picks up uh, picks up a journal and starts to starts to read it. And I'll um, I won't play the piano because I can't. <laughs> right. Those chopsticks or something. Maybe same key over and over again. Dun, 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 dun. Tap, tapping it, waiting enough to, to read a journal. And like a yeah, you can see uh, this like look of confusion crossing her face. Do you, do you remember writing this? It's your handwriting, isn't it? Yes, yes, this is... This is my... This, but, but this can't be... I'm afraid... Um, oh, my God! Oh, my God, no! Not... Your... No, I, rem I remember now! It went... Oh, my God! We're trapped here! It's trapped us here! It... it how... How can how can I free you? How or how can me oh, the, the ritual, my father's ritual. It was sabotage. It must have been Lester Goodman. Is, uh, is, is Lester Goodman dead or is he still alive? I, I don't know who he is. I don't know who he is. He, he, he sabotaged. Did something to sabotage my father's ritual. It's, but it's he, the, he the, invited, the, the, you invited him here for a meal. And then he sabotaged the ritual. They... No, no, they. So, oh my God, is the, the the ritual that must have gone wrong instead of it? Instead of a guardian angel, my father is he summoned a demon, a demon that possessed that it possessed my my dead mother. So how? What? What can we do? How can we? How can we free you from this? It, it, it says there about the four. What does it say? Was it the four? She kind. She kind of like. Uh, she. She. Almost, she almost faints and and puts her hand out and is like a. a, a do, we have, a, do we have to lure it to a, a certain room with the four icons or statues? And there's some words. We repeat those words. But what room do we need to do in? Is it in the room upstairs where the. Um, where the incense was. So she she doesn't seem to hear. She like I say she almost faints. She staggers back and grabs as to grab the arm the the back of the sofa to steady herself. No, oh, oh my God, the, the demon! It, oh. it killed my. It, well, I want to banish the demon. I, I want to. Uh, it won't let you leave. It won't let any of us leave. It wants to. So it, it, my God. It, it killed me. Am I dead too? I performed the ritual. I remember now. They, I, I, and the language, Jeremiah, and it, oh my God, it killed them too. We're trapped here. We're trapped here. The house and the grounds. It's like some. We're trapped here, like 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 purgatory. Where, where's the other statue? The, the statue. The, we've got an eagle, we've got an ox, we've got your father, and it, it talks of a fourth. Where, what is the fourth? Where is the fourth? It's, uh, it's, 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 on, it's on the north side of the house. It's the, uh, then you see there's, um, she suddenly gives, she suddenly screams, and you see this, this hand reaching up through the, uh, just like, up through the floorboards 
and grabs both her ankles and just she screams as it literally wrenches her down, pulling her through, pulling her through the floorboards and just tearing, just just shredding her body as she screams and her insides just like explode out across the floor until till like she like she just pull like like there's just just a head that is like compacted into like gurgles and screams and as her head's compacted into the floor. Can I hit the keyboard the keyboard of the piano and then slam it down? Uh, you can. You can make a sanity roll. <laughs> I'll do that as I make the sanity roll. Oh, that went well. Oh, that was, that was fine. That's fine. Um, Seventeen. Uh, this might not do that. No. Okay. Okay. So you lose one point of sanity. Um, so I take it the rest of you are coming back upstairs? Yeah. Yeah. Power well, swiftly. We're not. Especially if we hear screaming and. Yes, you do. You do hear screaming, yes. Probably on your way as you're making, making your way back. Back upstairs, you, you hear screaming coming from the, from the lounge. And rushing in, rushing through to the lounge, you find, you find Chris and stood at the side of the uh, bloody mangled remains of uh, Veronica. And you can make a Santa, you can make a Santa roll the three of you. Another one. She's oh. um, she's dead again. What did you uh, do to her? Uh, uh, something from below um, did it to her. I didn't do anything to her. Something. Oh my her. God! We we need to um, we need to find the other statue. Uh, I'll pick up the journal that she was reading. So the uh, so the door opens oh. behind the door opens behind you, and uh, and Veronica walks in. Oh, that's all right then. She looks good. Because oh, Rosemary, Rosemary, oh my God, what a, what a terrible mess! Rosemary, come and come and clean up this mess, please. It's this, it's a disgrace. Uh, and Rosemary come, uh, Rosemary comes in. She says, "Oh, yes, Miss, uh, yes, Miss Whalen. Sorry, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I don't, I, I don't know what, um, how I've missed this." And she, she starts, um, she starts sweeping. This um, this gory mess up into a into a dustpan, which is like incredibly ineffective, and mm. she just like um, just all she manages to do is like uh, she manages to like scrape some of the so the chunks of flesh and bone into this dustpan, but just sort of really you know just really more a case of just smearing this gore all across the the floor of the lounge. You're gonna need some stain remover for that, I'm afraid. And she turned, she turned, so Rosemary turned to you and said, uh, Can I get you gentlemen a drink at all? Or, 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 or a sandwich, perhaps? Tea? Coffee? Uh, no, thank you. Stronger. Uh, what would you like? Sherry. Sherry. <laughs> no, um, yeah. Either uh, white spurt or melon at this point. <laughs> Single more. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I think I'm good, thanks. Yeah, that's. Um... Right, she can't. She, she's a sherry. Sherry. I'm just going to walk off and I'm not. Sherry. Sherry. I think she's got to stir up. Sherry. She needs resetting. Sherry, That's and then she just then she just starts to she just starts to she just starts to whimper and just and, and tears start to you Sherry, give her a slap. You're gonna go and slap her? Yeah. <coughs> pull up, get your, pull yourself out of it, woman. Okay, so as you go to slap her, you um, um Jeremiah is suddenly inside and he grabs gay just like grabs your wrist says says please sir that's, that's my wife she's hysterical sort her out that does not give you the right to strike my wife sir and he uh, he pushes you to one side and escorts um, Rosemary out of the room it's okay my dear it's hysterical sort her out sort her um, so, lads, seems to have a bit of a problem. We're in deep doggy doo doos. 
Um, you two seem to know um, Frank and Andre. Seem to know what's going on here. And I don't like it. Um, it's let's... why we tried to get the hell out of here. Yeah. Um, remember you picked us up running, like, um, rather upset? <laughs> Uh, yeah, we came out of a similar situation, but that time it was dead bodies and tentacles. Well, this time and it was not we fun. We've seen too many dead bodies. Now we're seeing. Um, there's strange things in this world I'm starting to realize, and I'm not liking it. And I've looked at ancient uh, artifacts and uh, I've always had an interest in how people, uh, you know, practice rituals and these people are trapped and they seem to be in uh, I don't th- what would be the word um, a loop a circle uh, where we're merry go round spout in, a, in the 20s where were they huh? oh yeah yeah we, we need yeah, they seem to be, I, I'm not going to say time loop because that, that would be a strange concept for the time you know for 20s um, yeah they seem to be on a, a merry go round of some sorts and we need to do what they weren't able to do we, we need to perform this ritual and get rid of this this creature what they've what they summoned or what this goodman summoned that's like 18 good. years 18 years sorry 18 months so basically for 18 months they have been going through this dance of sorts of this yeah, spirit. It, it, in the back of her thing it, it, it says what words to say it, uh, can we um, can I scan through her father's because he did the ritual first yeah we can scan through we, the father's yeah we, we may need to look at the books that they've been reading about angels um, there's some books upstairs, there's some books in the library. Is the dining table clear now? Uh, yes, it is, yeah. So Augustus comes uh, um, comes walking into the dining room and through into the lounge and stands stands at the side of the piano, like um, listening to his, uh, with his hand resting on the side of the piano, listening to Veronica play. And he says, oh, good evening, gentlemen. Uh, and, ha- and how are you? Um, a little, a little perplexed. Um, you're missing a statue. Uh, would you happen to know where it is? A statue? Uh, I don't quite follow us. Get, um, can someone explain to him that, about the statues and that we're missing one? It's in the north of the building, according to uh, Veronica. I just got a rollable detected thing pop up on my screen. What was it? I don't know. Maybe it's um, maybe it's in the kitchen. How close well, she, are before these before she was uh, before she was brutally murdered, uh, she said the north side of the house. Yeah. I'm presuming that's the, where the kitchen is above the dining room on the map. Do we need to bring these all into one room? We can I'm read not the sure. That's what, that, that's what we need to find the ritual, or we can try and ask uh, Mr. Whelan about the ritual, or we could ask Veronica, but something um, took her downstairs, and I'll, I'll point at the mark, the smear marks on the floor when I was asking. I think they're saying something different than us. I think, I mean, they are very dead and they're just repeating themselves on and they, they, they don't have full memories. Yep. Um, of course, let's explain about this ritual uh, that you're about to perform. What are, what are the sort of in, uh, the mechanics of it after the preparation is complete? Oh, it's um, the the ritual itself is, is, is incredibly complex. Uh, it would um, It would take some... It would, it would take a considerable time to to explain the intricacies of it. It's, um... Well, we're not going anywhere. Can we simplify it a bit? Well, I um, skip a couple of steps. I can... What if something went wrong? What if something went wrong? 
Yes. Oh, well, then... Um... Say, uh, hypothetically, the ritual's altered, and instead of an angel, a demon appeared. Ah, well, technically, I suppose that's possible, yes, yes. At what stage of the ritual would that happen? That would be, uh, that would only be uh, probably apparent at, um, at the conclusion, whether you had been successful or not. Hmm. And is there a way, say, for example, this did happen? Are there safeguards? Uh, well, the Avalenum is a is a complicated and potentially dangerous ritual. Uh, hence the uh, the um, the need for the extensive period of preparation um, and uh, spiritual and mental cleansing and renewal. Do you know of any rituals to dispel? Um, demons, if you were unfortunate enough to summon one. Oh, I do not. Um, the, the ritual would. It would not. Um, I don't see how that would um, that would occur. It's um, just. I mean, just if it were to occur. Just yeah, it's always good to be safe. I, and, uh, if we're talking about these I, things, it's always good to be prepared. Do the ritual backwards, maybe. I. I, I well, as I say, this um, the the ritual includes part of the preparation. Of the ritual includes the means to, um, if performed correct, correctly, the means to protect against uh, outside interference. Uh, uh, and if it's done, if it's not performed correctly, the the ritual just won't work. Hmm. What about? Uh... Probably Mr. Goodman. What's his background? Mr. Goodman? Oh, Mr. Goodman was, uh, uh, my... Mr. Goodman was, um, was, uh, extremely helpful in my, uh, in, in my, in my attempt to procure, procure the, um, uh, original text of the book. Uh, and all... He also he also um, uh, provide also was able to provide me with um, with um, a um, a ritual uh, lantern that um, that is used that is used in the uh, during the Amberlemon operation. Uh, this um, the 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 uh, lantern he provided was um, uh, he claimed had been used prior. In a prior attempt to the ritual, and what's, the Mr. what's right. Mr. Goodman getting out of this whole ritual? Oh, uh, no, Mr. 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 Not at all, Mr. Uh, Mr. Goodman was a businessman. I paid, I paid him uh, a well, rather handsome sum for the for the uh, for the German text and and the uh, and the lantern. Well, that was going to be my question. Did he provide you with the books and a reel off the titles of the books? bedroom so so yeah he tells you that uh, he uh, he got the german text was from um, was from uh, from lester goodman as the original the original uh, the uh, english text that was translated from uh, from the french uh, the, the, the english text that was transferred to translated by mathers from the from the french um, turned uh, turns out to be to be incomplete, the uh, the the ritual in the uh, in the Mathers text was said to um, require require nine months. When in actual fact, there was a number of uh, an entire section of the uh, of, um, of the original Latin missing from the French that Mathers translated, and, uh, uh, and it was only upon obtaining the German the German text which is a straight uh, which is a f complete a translation of the complete original Latin that um, we discovered that the um, preparation period is in, is in fact 18 months which is why oh oh there it is 
Is that all? I, I perform, that would mean that I perform the ritual twice. But I've failed, it only failed once. And there's no line on the original Latin text. I take it they're gone. Uh, I wasn't able to. Uh, Mr. Goodman wasn't able to procure one. The the German text is uh, is the only available translation of the original Latin that uh, that I'm aware of. So you don't have a full English translation. No, there's no there's no uh, there's no English translation. It's uh, the German translation. But as I say, the the English uh, was uh, mistaken. Mother's mistakenly um, said um, that the ritual took um, six months, not not nine, six months. Rather than, uh, in actual fact, the full ritual requires uh, the ritual requires a full eighteen months of, of preparation. Could they be different rituals? Oh no, no, no! Only, only different in that um, that mothers did not have a complete version of the original text to to work from. Is it wise to conduct rituals? When you don't have the original writing, well, um, land translations is that um, is that the safest thing to do? Possibly, possibly not. I, but as I say, because if you think we've got you've got two different translations, it is entirely possible. And I'm just hypothesising here. I'm putting it towards you. I wouldn't want to uh, presume to know about this sort of thing. But could the English version have been? Uh, Predicted for a reason that maybe the full ritual is not meant to be performed. Mm, uh, no, 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 no. The 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 uh, the, uh, the, uh, the text that mothers worked from it was uh, it was a fr- French a French text and the French text was incomplete. This is why the it's why the um it's why my uh, my first attempt. My first attempt failed, but I think your second attempt failed too. Let's be honest. Yeah, um, but I only, I, think, yeah. I only right. made it have been successful, but not the way you think. Okay, so yeah. it, it goes, it goes in six chances, but but I only made one attempt. Maybe the third attempt might be successful. Um, do you want to show him Veronica's? Um... Uh, yeah, sh- sh- uh, show him um, Veronica's uh, journal. Uh, did you um, I appear to be missing part of my memory too, um, Augustus, so I can completely understand there's something strange about this house. So are you... Okay. Me too, so I completely understand. I'm feeling a little bit anxious myself. So, um, don't... Uh, please don't be upset, but we have obviously come in as outsiders and accepted your gracious hospitality. We think we may have accidentally stumbled onto something here, and he might be the man to help us, and maybe in return we could help you. And your daughter? Mm. And your staff? So, so he, you, uh, whoever's got the Veronica's book wants to... I, I, before we give him that, I just want to... What, what information is, is, is in his journal? So, so you can you can you can be looking at you can be looking at that while he's uh, while he's looking over Veronica's if you want. Can do. Or if you want, it's going to result in him being murdered. <laughs> <laughs> or you can look at or you can yeah well it's up to you. you can you, do you want to look at uh, Augusta's journal first or before you give it him give him Veronica's. Uh, yeah, I think it might be a good idea. Okay, so so again, um, I'll probably not do it in sight. In, in, in sight of him, but right. I mean, I've got the stick. He can see the stick, can he not? Um, it, so it's not. Is 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 not. It's not appear to have noticed it as yet. I presume that's not part of the ritual. The, the creature must have rammed, killed her with that. And no, you see, so you can, you like I say, examine the body. It looks like um, she did that to herself. 
and Veronica, before she died, she said that was that was um, used in the well in the uh, operation. Unless one, us, unless one of us wants to sacrifice ourselves, we are screwed. Then, essentially, maybe um, she killed herself when she realised that she was about to fail, and it was the only way to stop to try and stop the creature. But she fucked that up as well. Possibly, but I'll I'll have a look at his his journal. Okay, so I'll give, I'll give Veronica's to her if you want to give it. To okay, her. so I'll I'll um I don't think I'll, I'll these are the people that are going to figure out we're not. <laughs> so sense. I shall make uh, I shall make the um. Let's see, see, can I? Uh, let's see. Um. You need to find the other statue. As well. And do we need to put it in the, I have no the idea. one room and I use the room as a cage and then... Yeah, I presume it's that room where everybody is, yeah. And we'll have to make, we'll have to seal that door again, probably. Yeah. All right, let me just... Uh, I'll just make a copy of the journal, uh, Veronica's journal available to yourselves so everybody else can look at it at the leisure. Um... One second. Does she know any decent term uh, music? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we go. She's a ghost on the lip. Okay. So that. Uh, so that. So you should all now be able to see a uh, in the journal tab. You should be able to see. In one of the folders, uh, uh, an entry called Veronica. Veronica's journal that you can you can all oh, read. Oh yeah. So, so while you're perhaps looking over that for the first time, um, Chris, Mr. Werner, you you like um. Do you mind? Read. Stop it. You read. Um, you look over. Augustus's journal while he's he's kind of sat talking you kind of with this puzzled look on his face his hair is his ch- such a chin resting on his hands he's mumbling to himself trying to try like constantly like, uh, re- like turn these things over in his head like well, I, 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 I only failed the ritual once but I, it, but I performed the ritual twice I was just trying, like, going over it, going, you know, just going this over and over, this over and over again, trying to make sense of it. But anyway, so, like Veronica's journal, it's a, it's a kind of a mishmash of a notebook and a journal, and most of it's, like, hard to follow. So, again, skipping to the back, the last few pages, uh, this is what you see. So, I shall... Um, well, I'll I'll read I'll read it out and then I'll make it uh, make it available to everybody. So, six months into the operation, it is an am- it is amazing how the same concept can appear across different religions, albeit wearing a different face and bearing a different name. The Malachim and God's messengers, part of heavenly hierarchy, have no physical form, although. Memonides proposed that they are metaphorical representations of the laws of nature and universal principles. The Malachi are messengers and agents of God's will also, of God's will, will are also part of a celestial hierarchy, and their forms are incomprehensible. Even in dreams they manifest in different forms. The various branches of Christianity portray angels differently. Catholicism divides them into the nine choirs and describes them as being forever incorporeal, although the seraphim are also described as six-winged, the cherubim as four-faced, having the faces of a lion, an ox, a human, and an eagle. The thrones as burning wheels rimmed with eyes, etc. Protestantism Protestantism, describes them as genderless and invisible beings that are messengers and agents of God's will. 
If it is required to ensure that God's will is enacted, they can become corporeal. I wonder exactly how I will describe the unequal beauty of my holy guardian angel when, he, when the time comes. I wonder this every day. At midnight tonight, 18 months have elapsed in their entirety. Tomorrow I begin the final stage before, if I am successful this time, my holy guardian angel will appear. The next time I write here will confirm my success or my failure. I hope for the former. Well, that was helpful. Yeah. Uh, you can make an idea, uh, an intelligence roll, actually. We need to find the. It was a lion that we're missing. Oh, uh huh. So you can make an intelligence roll anyway, just in case. Just, uh, just to. Uh, no, okay. I failed. So okay. forget what I just said. <laughs> no, no, you can. You can welcome to figure it out yourself. I'm just, uh, just in case. Um, you know, make. Assuming the other statue is a lion, and, and it's in the north of the building. Okay. Yeah. Downstairs as well, so in the kitchen maybe, or staff quarters. Um, there was a door we didn't check upstairs. Uh, I don't know if it has to be. Well, the rest of the statues are on the one level, aren't they? Yeah. yeah, go through the dining room into the kitchen. That's the only other downstairs room, isn't it? So go yeah. go through the dining room. Go. <laughs> just uh, just going to make a copy of the uh, Augusta Journal available. can now access a copy of Augusta's journal. I can't see what we can do because they both tried it and failed. We haven't got any more information than what they were working on. Yeah, and are they you, were probably substantially better at this shit than us. Are you, I uh, think we need to come to the realisation. Um, problem is when they come to the realisation, then that thing appears. Just well, that's her, when they realise that they In her died, journal, you know. it says something about getting rid of it, doesn't it? It does, yeah. She said she's... Uh, in, her, in Veronica's journal, she said she's laid a, a trap for it to imprison it, but she also mentions a way to get rid of it. <coughs> if only her handwriting was more I can read it out to you again if you're struggling to read it. It doesn't really help, doesn't been able to read it. Okay, I shall read it out for you, so it is a bit hard. So you can click on it. So, um, I presume this is before you hand it to um, to Augustus. So these these words will hold the spirit in... So it says, uh, so do you want me to read it from the beginning? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So... So Veronica's journal, the last few pages says, I have said before, I do not believe it was a heart attack. My father was murdered. I am certain of this, but need proof. All I have is that the text, all I have is the text he followed. That must be it. Lester Goodman sold him the book and the lamp. Who is he? Why did he want my father dead? The only way to obtain proof is to follow in my father's footsteps and trap the being that did this to him once it appears again. I am confident I can hold it here once it is summoned. I know the arts by which I can interrogate it. If it withstands my questioning, at least I will have it imprisoned to show others. The authorities will have to believe me then. I will draw upon the power of Saturn to construct a ward that will hold the spirit. Sigils oh, created from its Camilla will mark the four cardinal di di directions and turn the house into a prison it cannot escape. Should the need arise, these may be brought together yeah. around the spirit to banish yeah, it, yeah. akin to tightening a noose around its neck oh, until it has so no direction old, yeah, left yeah. in which to flee but to back to the invisible world from whence it came. Barrier. 
bind, obstacle, prison, these words will hold the spirit in, Saturn, in Saturn's leaden grip. May the faces of the angels that guard the gates of the Garden of Eden guard this house and prevent any evil from leaving the confines of this yeah. house. So it's been... Is it in prison it now? Can't, yeah, it can't get out of the house. So what's the thing outside that attacked the, them two? It's her. Her? Yeah. Who? Veronica? No, um, the wife that's been possessed by the demon. But I don't know that, because that didn't happen. Uh, no, yeah, but how he got out... No, but that, that's outside. outside though. The prison is inside, so... That's... I don't get... I don't understand unless, that. unless Colin never actually left the house. Or did we break the sail? Oh, of course, we turned the... No, of course, we, we turned, turned the... Um, so um, by rights, we shouldn't have been able to get into this house. No, it's a... So why are we seal. in the house in the first place if it's sealed? No, it seals the spirit and the demon in. So yes. basically what we need to do is get the four statues and gradually bring the statues together and then it's trapped in a smaller and smaller area and then say the magic words, Bob's your uncle, back in the mm. car. Fuck off home, tea and cookies. Yeah, um, how did we get into the house? Through the front door. So did we step through the house and... See, it's a, basically it's a one-way valve? I guess. Or are we all dead? That's also a possibility. I'm confused because Veronica was just dragged through the floor. So I'm the the cre the creature or a creature is in the house. Yeah. She summoned it and trapped, but had prepared made preparations that trapped it in the house, and it's just like stuck in a loop. Frank seems to believe I've went outside, I can't do something. And it's. Are we saying it's his wife? So was she already dead and he summoned her spirit? Yeah, so he said, Augustus said that his wife died during childbirth. So he summoned her spirit. Or well, it's taken her form or... So he's... Where, where, where is the trap? Is that upstairs? Where she... No, the trap is the four statues with the symbols on. But, and what about the lantern? When you, there was the, the lantern and the book are part of the summoning ritual. Yeah, there yep. might be something in that red book. All the other books are useless to us because oh. none of us, can any of us read any foreign languages? Um, um, I think that was the summoning thing was the, the book. There was a red one, wasn't there? That was in English and maybe that's... That, the, was, that was the incomplete one. Yeah. Was that the incomplete one? Yeah. Um, unless there's notes in the others, but we'll probably go and get all the books and have a look at them. Um, I think we need to bring the statues into one room. Yeah. Yeah, well, let's go and find this lion thing. Yeah. So we'll find the lamb, we'll bring it. Um... But I presume you've got to get the ghost to come in between Well, four things? I don't know. Will Is the ghost... It's in the house, but it is in between the four things, so as we bring them together bring them closer it's going to get trapped in a smaller and smaller area as we get closer together because at the moment the statues are covering like the whole house so so as you're saying this Veronica sort of stops playing what is that you're saying a trap in the house you made a trap in the house before you started the ritual. But I haven't started the ritual. I'm start. I'm. I'm begin the preparations tomorrow. Um, you created a trap. Well, did this Veronica read the journal, or was it the one that got the it's, one that got? Yeah, squished. the one that got squished. This one hasn't read the journal. Yeah. So, uh, so Augustus, very, 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 very
What do you world. mean? Um, let's let's say in theory, as as we're just talking about this hypothetical conversation, as I'm realizing that maybe spooking these two are getting to realize is just going to repeat events and we'll have to start all over again. Let's try and get these two on board. Um, let's say uh, there's a possibility with this ritual that something other than what you wish could get summoned, and we need a we need a plan B, a backup plan. Um, the Trap and banishing. Now, uh, I'm going to go through the Battle of the Ritual, saying about the four uh, faces. So, for that, it's not, uh, what, what are you doing with it? Oh, yeah, what's somebody doing up there as well, by the way? I'll be in here. Well, well, well I had started and then we went back in time. Yeah. We're, we're sort of part of this time loop ourselves. <laughs> so, um, for that, so, what, what, what are you doing with the wand? Where did you get that? It's a square, it's a, it's a, it's a copy. It doesn't matter for now. It's a copy. Um, um, it's that, our wand. But that wand is, is integral to the uh, to the ritual, to the operation. So uh, and Augustus says, yeah, yes, that's, 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 uh, that's our, I, I, I don't mean to rude, but uh, that's our property, if you, if you don't mind. The, um, just, the statues are pointing out, they need to all be pointing in. The trap uh, hasn't been sprung. I, I'm sorry. I, I just don't, I don't understand what you're talking about. What do you mean the the statues, the trap? Uh, the, 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 the statues are looking out of the window. I would imagine they need to be facing in to trap the spirit. What do you think? Are we just talking as if they're not here? I am. We're... Yeah. Right. <laughs> um. Oh. I think uh, we should. I would explain it. why the ghost is able to move about outside, yeah, and inside because the, the or at least us turn it, turning one round. Um, if yeah. we bring them in and have them pointing out first of all, because if they, I think if the trap is spurred, it's going to get angry, and we don't want to be in the middle of it. I think uh, we'll keep it. Well, if we are stood on the other side, if we are holding the statues like that walking inwards can we move on that we know where it is closer and bring it into this drawing room to see what happens lure it and like no i mean can we uh, what i'm worried about is if we move a statue we're going to trigger something well let's 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 focus let's on finding it. the lion yeah um, yeah should we let's don't find the lion to, and um, get down. right right however we need to keep these two blockaded because if they get upset, they'll just disappear and we need to come back. What are you talking about? What, are, what the hell are you talking about? You're talking uh, about events as if uh, events of the things that have, uh, that have already happened that, uh, that haven't happened. Ah, uh, but they have, my dear. Um, have a look at your journal again. Oh God! <laughs> um, give it, give it the journal to read, and we'll go looking for the statue. Yeah, I'll give um, it a father to read. Maybe pass. Give it a father to read. Yeah, actually, yeah. Uh, well, was that what we were doing originally? We just did that. Yeah. No, you haven't well, done. You haven't actually given it him yet. Right, Ariel can read this. Um, and then we'll we'll go. And we'll come back. We'll be right back. Yeah. We'll be back with each other. You read that. We'll be right back. Okay. okay. Let's all scarper and get to the. Uh, let's go out the back see if we can find us the land. Okay. So where are you going? We're, we're yeah. going back where we're heading towards the kitchen. Kitchen. Quickly as possible. Right. So. Uh, Up you go then. Point. 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 Who's coming? Right. Is that a door? Is that a door? That's a door, right? Okay. Wait for me. <laughs> so, 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 you open the door into the, ki- into the kitchen, and Rosemary. Ah, um, can I help you, gentlemen? It's uh, you don't often have. Uh, yeah. I have a house guest back here. Perhaps I could get you a drink or something um, to eat. Uh, we're looking. Did you get us a land we're statue? A lion statue. statue of the lion. You haven't seen one around here by any chance? Uh, well. Oh, have, uh, uh, sorry, what, 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 happened, what happened to Augustus out with the, the ritual? We just need to bring that statue back into the drawing uh, room and see if it'll help. We know, uh, we know Jeremiah's got a bad back and obviously we don't want to impose on him to have him. Uh, right, have uh, oh, so you can, you can give us a, you can give us a, um, I don't know, a fast talk or a persuade perhaps? It's up to you which. Um, 
Yeah. So the person who were doing the talking, that would have been Andre. I don't think I have it. Can I charm her? Yeah, can you charm? Yeah, charm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah like, but a weapon thirty in charm. This is gonna go hard. Go on, I'll let you. Uh, stand by, folks. Charm this way. Ouch! Holy shit! Um, why, why on earth do you why on earth do you want a lion statue? Uh, trying to look up. Oh, I don't have enough luck. That's why. Uh, <laughs> no, you'll never look that. Um, Good God! Can I can I push it? Uh, how are you going to push it? Oh, um, just push it. Look, listen, I don't. Um, <laughs> I just so, like, so when look, you push when you push, when you push something, it doesn't necessarily have to be the same skill. You can uh, cha you can change your approach, and you know. So, for instance, you could go from trying to charm her to being being threatening. Yeah, that's what it's like. Look, you're just a hard help. We're we're having an intellectual discussion here. Please don't interfere. If you don't know who that she is, let us be about our business. Okay. You've offered us three times, and I still haven't delivered. You know, if you pay attention to your duties, it would be much more helpful. Okay, for the intimid you. an intimidation role. Yeah, uh, uh, no, oh, you can't spend. Luck. No, you uh, need to need to roll. You need to roll intimidation, not um, not luck. Sorry. Um, yeah, I'm intimidating her with charm. Yeah. <laughs> so you switch it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. if you switch in tact, because the pushing button won't work, so it's going to use the same skill. But you can switch well. tact and still as a, as an attempt to push. That's what I did with uh, Veronica, intimidated her with charm when I kissed her. I don't have intimidation, I'm not intimidated. You do? Uh, you, you will do, uh, even if it's only it's like not, five. No. <laughs> I have a whole five in fast hug. Um, it's I'm not, under I'm not history. Not right. I have a grand total of 15 in intimidate. Oh, good luck. <laughs> Many mice is going to squeak. And you I can't spend, spend luck on a push. No, in fast hug. Oh, shit. Um, guys, just... Uh, stand by, this is gonna go wrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How dare you! Head. How dare you! And she starts shouting, Jeremiah, Jeremiah, these, these gentlemen, these supposed guests of, of, of Mr. Wayland are, are threatening me and. Um, uh, again. Jeremiah, Jeremiah she appears from the uh, from the door to the, from the, this other door to the library. Says, Gentlemen, well, I, the, this is the second time I've, I've had you. I've, I've had to speak to you about uh, the way you're treating my wife. Is your woman under control? <laughs> She's speaking well above her station. This lady works very well. Right? <laughs> She's speaking well out of turn. <laughs> what sort of a man are you? You can't keep your woman in check. <laughs> wow, he's so rude. Wow. Right, he just he, he just he just he just, he just walks over. He walks over and uh, yeah, he grabs uh, Rosemary by the hand. Just come, come, Rosemary. We'll speak to Mister 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 about this. Right, quick, Scarper, search. Let's go. Four lion. What? What's the door? What I'm next to there? It's like just a, it's just like a closet. Alright. Lots of closets. In That's a door, right? That's okay. So this door uh, goes into well, let me see. Yeah. Uh, into a store access room. Does this this room it appears to be of like um, newer construction than the rest of the house? Um. And there is, it looks like, unlike uh, the rest of the, the rest of the rooms, which have got like a wooden, you know, like wooden floors, this is like a um, concrete floor. Looks like it was once an exterior floor and it's been, it's like been painted white. Uh, so the area has been, has been, been used as like a, a storage area. There's like old, old furniture. Um, and, a, a dis and two dismantled four-poster beds and a couple of uh, wardrobes and chest of drawers and things that have just been like dismantled and stacked up against the walls. There's two, ex there's two exterior doors and then two more doors leading off. Yeah, let's, let's go for this one. Okay, what's somebody else doing? 
Go check this door here, whatever it is. Yeah. I'll do one. Well, so I think find the most north. Is it the most northerly part of the house we're looking for? Um, yeah. Doing. Yeah, I'm just charging north. I think Andre is in the right area. So, but you two are checking these side rooms. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so Frank, you open the door and oh. you find a, it's a pantry. Um, but it's almost completely, almost completely em- empty. Uh, there's a few, a few bits of food around. We can make a spot hidden roll. Uh, Mr. Werner, you find a another storeroom. So it's um, it's like a storeroom for like cleaning supplies, various house, you know, various house ups, like cleaning equipment, supplies. There's a step ladder, some a toolbox, and like boxes of spare light bulbs and things like that, as well as uh, like bottles of kerosene and some kerosene lamps. Um, so. So as you, as you, Frank, as you step into this pantry, for just briefly, you get you're almost overcome by this smell of rotting food. But just as just as quickly as you as you smell it, it it goes again. Mm, interesting. And that's what Good, Goodman was eating, wasn't it? Rotten food. Yeah. yeah. If it's the link. What time are we calling it, Phil? Uh, that's up to you guys. It's, can we are we stretching it out to three? I suspect we might be. The... Yeah. Okay. Right, we go. In. All right. I'll tell. Uh, so. So, as you as you sort of head into here, uh, you hear a shout. From back, it must come back. Must be coming back from the towards the dining room, the uh, the lounge. It's like and you can hear, it's Augustus. Oh, he's just getting dragged through the walls again. You're right. And they said the the sound the the piano music stops. Are you hear Augustus shout? He's like uh, you can hear him shouting your names. And he comes storming in. He comes like storming into the kitchen. At first, you wonder if it's if it's uh, about the altercation with uh, with um, with Rosemary and her husband. And he says, "You're right. You're right. I did the ritual. I, I performed it twice. Uh, I remember now. Uh, Veronica, is, she we, we remember. It's uh, the the, the, the a demon. You're right. There is a demon. It's." It's trapped us here, it's tormenting us. It means to keep us all here. You too. Yeah, so how, gonna, how can we get out of here? How can the, we free you? The ritual I performed, it, it was it was sabotage. It was it must have been Lester. The the books. The the the, the book the, the, the perhaps the perhaps the beacon, the lantern. Uh, my god, the the demon it it, it came it, uh, the demon came instead of my angel and I, I, I think it killed me. And the, and, it, and Veronica said, "Yes, yes, Father, it, it, it killed me too." And 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 Rosemary and, and Jeremiah. It, you need to figure out a way. Says we're trapped. Our souls are trapped here. You must help us. Our souls are trapped here in this house. We cannot leave. We're trying. Where's the other statue? Oh, when, we, when we die. When we die, we must. We we we've died before. We've died so many times, and we always come back. Where where is the fourth statue? The statue of the lion. Where you the, the, We need your help. I don't. I, I don't know the demon. You, the, the 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 key of Solomon. The key of Solomon. Key of Solomon. The key of Solomon. You can banish the demon with the key of Solomon. Yeah. That's good old well and good. It's in in the library. The key of Solomon is in the library. Show us then. Where is it? Are we right? Uh, and we'll leave it there, I guess. Okay. <laughs> That's, yeah, I forgot we got more to go. Because I'm thinking not we'll, we'll not all stop. Some of us will keep searching because I think that the go back the early <laughs> Okay. 
So yeah, Lashel. So uh, so who was going? So so they lead whoever. So uh, Andre, you're still searching, I guess. Then yeah, somebody go with them to the library. I'll, I'll, be the I'll go with them. Yeah, uh, as well. I'll keep searching, and then when we pick it up next time, that's what we're yeah. busy doing. We'll just... Okay, so uh, I've lost him. Oh, there's uh, a there's key that. can be a physical key or a key as in key phrase. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know it could be that recited phrase. Um, or a symbol or yeah that's it could yeah. be a lot of things so okay so you two I... so chris and um andre are continuing to search for this lion and the other the other two are going with uh go with uh, veronica and augustus to the library yeah yep. yeah yeah okay so yeah so we'll um, we'll leave it there then